Hello, everybody. Give me a two if you can hear me in the chat. Give me a two if you can hear me in the chat. I know that I was supposed to be going live on Friday, but I just want to do this real quick question and answer because two reasons. We have a whole lot of new people subscribe to the channel, right? A whole bunch of new people subscribe to the channel. So a lot of you don't really know me. You may not understand like my character. And there are a couple of questions that I really want to answer because I'm actually in, in the middle of filming a video, which is why you can't see me because I'm in the middle of filming a video, but I just have to answer these questions really quick, right? Because I feel like not I feel like at the place the place that we are in right now I feel like teen I'm not even gonna use that term because I don't want the wrong energy to be here the patterns that everybody's been following for the past decade well over a decade right has left everybody like in fear of everything when it comes to hair and hair is not scary it is not complicated it is not something that you have to know like all of these secret tricks too and i feel like i i know that because so many different techniques are made up on a regular basis everything is so confusing so when i'm saying certain things i think it confuses people so I just want to go over a couple of these questions really, really quick. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave those questions in the chat. Because like I said, this is a spur of the moment one, but I, I won't be posting a video tomorrow. So I, I can't go on the rest of the day with this on my mind and me thinking about the fact that some of you are at home with these questions on your mind right feeling as if it's something that is so complicated okay so you said for one this is a really really important one because it it stretches for so many questions i'm, I'm only going over three but it's everybody's asking the same exact questions and everybody's panicking over the same exact thing. If you are in here and you can hear me, give this video a thumbs up. You guys know that we are working with a computer. So if you are here and you value any of the information that I give, or if you looking to value something, then give this video a thumbs up. It is free and it is like, literally one of the best things that you can do to support me like even if you just leave a heart in the comments is literally the easiest way to support me and it is one of the fastest and most the best way to support me because the more people you get over here the more you give this video a thumbs up the more people are going to hear this message the more the word is going to spread and it's for everybody all right so someone said can you do a video for us that sweat a lot in our head i tend to do wash and go or twist out only because i don't know what other styles i can do i understand i prefer straight styles but they don't last the full day because i sweat so much now this is the thing and this is why i wanted to come live because because team natural made things the enemy 
anything that I say, you take as me saying, no, don't do this, period. No, 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 no. When I say I can't stand washing goals and I can't stand like twist outs and stuff like that, I can't stand things that do not allow you to, to set the bod in the hair. If you are a person who does twist outs, you will notice that your hair is not evenly dry from root to ends. Like all of the 100,000 to 400,000 strands of hair that you have on your head are swollen to different diameters. One thing that a lot of people do not understand, you have 100,000 follicles on your scalp, right? But every follicle is independent. So every follicle has its own hair growth cycle. So if 100,000 follicles on your scalp, you have 100,000 hair growth cycles going on on your scalp right now. So when I say analogen phase, telogen phase, all of those different phases of the hair growth cycle, your whole entire head is not in the analogen phase. No, there are certain follicles that are in the analogen phase. There are certain follicles in the telogen phase. Do you understand what I mean? So the to answer your question, the very first thing that you have to do is learn your scalp's profile. There are women who don't sweat in the scalp. I deal with something called hydronitis superativa, and it causes my my children are playing, so you'll hear screaming. Um, with hydronitis superativa, it causes you to have hyperactive sweat glands and hyperactive sebaceous glands. So I sweat at the drop of the hat. I wake up in the morning and my scalp is wet. I wake up in the morning, my face is full of oil. And that's why I had to take my nose ring out because it wouldn't heal properly because I have an extremely high sebum level. Why? Well, hydronitis superativa is an auto-inflammatory disease, right? That has no cure, no known medical cure. And what it does, it causes my body to attack itself. So anytime my body goes to release artificial hormones that are in milk, like in dairy or any animal product, I'll get inflammation within my sweat glands, right? And that will come in my scalp and anywhere else that I have sweat glands. And because it causes stress, when you stress, your body releases a hormone called cortisol. And cortisol, what it does, it powers up and sends a signal to the sebaceous gland, which produces your oil to produce more sebum right so this is why some people have overactive sweat glands you have to learn your scalp's profile this is why you get it on social media and say oh her hair looks like this so i'm gonna do that no because guess what there could be three women from three different races with one porosity it could be a black woman, a Hispanic woman, and an Asian woman all standing next to each other with high porosity hair. So it's all about learning your scalp's profile, what you can or cannot do. So for you, you are a person like me whose scalp's profile is oily, a little sweaty. You have a high sebum level, right? You have, I mean, not a high sebum level. You have a very active sweat gland. So in that case, you need to pick certain hairstyles. And when I was standing behind the chair, before I would let anybody book a silk press, they had to book a consultation. You know why? Everybody is not a candidate for a silk press. I am a person who is not a candidate for a silk press. That's why it's funny whenever people randoms or people's grandchildren come over like oh you always wear your hair straight no i don't i'm not recording every day most of the time i'll be like today i'm binge recording for the month so i'm my hair is not straight all the time it can't be straight all the time when i wake up in the morning my hair is wet so i have to have other options Wearing your hair straight is not the only way to set the bond, but it is the thing that women who wear their hair natural have focused all of their attention on. You like relaxers and flat arms are the devil, but so because you're so micro focused, and I'm not talking about you specifically, baby, 
because you're so micro focused on flat irons and blow dryers you know don't heat your hair no it has to be curled all you thinking about is it being straight straightening your hair is one way blow drying your hair is one way my clients don't understand that well my clients my clients had to understand i would explain to them the only thing that the curl type and chart is good for is a vanity metric, meaning how it looks. You cannot treat your hair. You cannot pick a hair care product based on how your curls look. It, it holds no value. And hey, I know it's going to be somebody's granddaughter that disagrees. When you disagree with me, I need you to bring facts, not emotions, not opinions, because I, I can't do nothing with that. We can't do nothing with your emotion. I don't care how bad you hurting. I don't care how sad you are. Your emotion is not going to pay one bill. Your opinion will not pay one bill. If we're going to break down old foundations or if you disagree, do not comment in my comments talking about, oh, I disagree. That ain't true. It works for me. No. If, and this is the thing. I'm not trying to change your mind. If you disagree, just sign off. You do not have to announce it to the world, Craig. You don't got to announce it to the city or the world. You feel me? So you do not have to do a flatter burn. When the curl typing chart was made in the early 1990s it was like 92 93 by a man named andre walker andre walker was oprah winfrey's hairstylist and he made up the curl type and chart to sell his products so then when the team national community took off over a decade ago it was a woman whose name i'm not even getting into who start, like made it popular and then she had mil she has millions of subscribers. So millions of people watched her video and then it spread like wildfire. And then on YouTube, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but on YouTube, a lot of people are not necessarily into it for education or into their videos being put out there with validity. They're more into their videos being put out there for content, for views. And when that is your focus, when that is your priority, then you're not fact checking. You don't have any bodies of data. And I think this is one of the main reasons why everybody's so confused. This is one of the main reasons why every time I make a video, there's always somebody I feel, listen, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna put it like this. If you go into the hospital, right? You are not, when you go see your doctor, you're going to see your doctor. Your doctor is not about to stand there and argue and go back and forth with you about, oh, oh, well, I know you hold, you said you hold the uh, scalpel and stuff like this. But when I was watching Grey's Anatomy, every time I watch Grey's Anatomy or I be watch, I watch that reality show, you know, First 48, that reality show where, you know, and they was in the ER and he didn't wrap her bandage like that. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do it. The doctor would look at you like you were crazy. And it's like that in every field. But for whatever reason, in this community, women feel like the science of the human body is up for debate. And that is why I'm calling on all of my moderators as we're talking tonight. If there is anybody that's argumentative, please put them in timeout. Explain it. Somebody in the somebody, the moderator, explain to them why they in timeout because they'll still be able to see and hear. And then once they get out, if they are argumentative again, kick them out because I'm not being disrespectful, but I'm not trying to change your mind. I'm here presenting information to you, and you can either take it or leave it. And if you leave it, it is okay, babe. I'm not offended, I'm not mad, and I'm not upset. But please, I'm begging you guys. It's so annoying when I make a video and then you look in a comment, uh-uh, because I don't believe that because I use, listen, if you don't believe it and you use it and you don't think that there's anything wrong with what you do and you think that I'm wrong, 
why do you feel the need to let me know and to write it? That lets me know you. there's something that I said that's making your spirit woman question the dumb shit that you're doing to your head. Excuse my French. So it's making you uncomfortable and that's what I'm here for. I'm here for it. But don't type it out. Keep it to yourself. Write it in your journal and go talk about it. And go ask creator. Go ask creator why somebody giving you a proven scientific fact is making you feel so offended. That's what I need you to do. I am not here for the sensitive women. I'm not here for that. We can't get anywhere. We cannot break down these foundations with, with soft little, little styrofoam. No. So I'm, I'm just not here for that. I love you all so much. But if you cannot receive without walking in a fence, please get off of my channel. Please. I'm begging you. All right. So we got into the curl pattern. So the curl typing chart doesn't hold any validity as it pertains to like, oh, what products to get. Like when, if you see a pro let me tell you something. If you see a product and on that product, it says for 4C hair, you better, you better go the other way. There is not one thing about the way that your curls are shaped that controls the way that your hair absorbs anything. Is nothing. The curl type and chart 4C, 4B, 4C is not respected in any medical journal anywhere around the world. Anytime you see it, it is only a market employee. Hell, when I was doing YouTube videos and my views was going down when I didn't add 4C to it, I would joke around and put on 4C hair with quotation marks and then views would shoot through the roof. They did not do it because it's important. They did it because it triggered the shit out of the algorithm. That's why. So, again, when we are talking about curl pattern, this is where the curl type and chart would come in. to handy. Let's say you have super tight curls and you want you want to wear your hair in a way that resembles your natural curl pattern. Guess what, babe? Just get a perm rod set. There are so many different size perm rods. You pick the size perm rod depending on what curl pattern you have. So if you get, if you do a perm rod set, right? You do a perm rod set is nothing because peep game. When you when you're just doing a wash and go, you can't comb your hair because you didn't actually set the hydrogen bond. That's why if you comb your hair out, your hair is a puffy mess because you never set the bond. Do you hear me? But if you do a a a flexi rod set or because flexi rods have a whole bunch of different sizes, too, you can do a size that is small enough to resemble your curl pattern. Like you could do super small ones. I remember when I was in cosmetology school, Wednesday was senior day. And on senior, on senior day, all of the white ladies came and got perms. Swear to God, they used to get the little, the smallest, they like baby blue, or at least they was back then, uh, perm rods. And they are super little. And they would have me put the perm rods in. They would get perms. You get a relaxer to go straight. You get a perm to go curly. And we would use perm rods. That's what they're called. Like some people on YouTube randomly use them, but they're perm rods for perms. So we would put the perm rods on and we would put them in like the really, really small ones. And then you take them out and she got an afro. Oh my God, I did that all through cosmetology school for almost two years. Every Wednesday. Every Wednesday was senior day. You could get perm rods, right? You can get perm rods and then you could take those perm rods depending on your curl pattern, the curl pattern that you want to resemble, right? And then just set the bond, guys. Sit under the dryer. Dry your freaking hair. Set the bond and then take the perm rods out. And then you can wear your hair like that for a couple of days. No, you don't have to comb it every single day if you have a flexi rod set, but it needs to be at least every other day. Personally, I comb my hair every day because when you set the bond, the bond is never unset. 
like y'all y'all lose y'all curls when y'all comb them because you never set the bond. But if you go and get a twist out at a hair salon, the cosmetologist or the hairstylist procedure is going to be a lot different than the one that you're using at home. They're going to use half of half of half of the product that you use unless you go into a dusty one. They got her license on YouTube University. You know what I'm saying? And it'll last, but that shouldn't be how you wear your hair every day. Give me a two real quick. If you've, if you're a person or who knows a person, or if you've ever at one time been like this, where you have a, a, a certain side that you wear your part on, like you always wear your part on the left hand side after a certain amount of time, you're going to have a permanent part over there. Why do you think that is? That is because your follicles create patterns. Listen to me. They create patterns. So if your pattern is your hair just in twist and just sitting on your head, twisted up forever, that's an issue. I just, I just had somebody send me a message saying that they felt the same way, right? Like they they went through the same exact thing and she sent me a before and after because she was like, you right. She was like, I thought my hair was all super long and then I went to get it stretched out. I went to get it straightened and then, oh my God. And oh my God, girl, if you in here, can I share the picture? I won't add your name or nothing, but can I share the picture if you are in here? But y'all, like I'm telling you what I know. And then when she goes to see a cosmetologist and when you go see a good one, she knows exactly what to do for it. Like she already knows what to do. So this is something that I want y'all to think about. You can do so many different things. Or let's say, let's say you don't want to emulate your natural curl pattern. Let's say you want to emulate a silk press. Well, my mom used to do roller wraps all the time. So what you can do. You can get a roller set, but y'all have to learn how to do a roller set. Don't think that you're going to emulate a silk press by putting five rollers in your hair. No, you need to take itty bitty sections and put as many rollers as you can possibly fit in your head in there. You need to get your hair as stretched as possible and sit under the dryer until your hair is 100% dry. Depending on how thick your hair is, you might be up under there for an hour and some change. Get some snacks. And then after you do that, you could do one or two things. You could either take the rollers out and then just take a brush and uh, and wrap your hair in a circle, sit back under the dryer. That's going to be dependent on your texture, right? But if you have extremely thick hair, you could just take out a round brush, take the rollers out, take out a round brush, round brush your hair, and then wrap your hair in a circle, go up under the dryer. It's not complicated. But the 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 thing that is so crazy, the thing that's so crazy about it is like the only thing that I'm saying is two styles and we have hundreds of them. But it's just the two laziest ones that require no effort that everybody is fighting to keep. And it is so weird. It's so weird, guys. You have so many freaking options. Set the bond in your hair. If you can't comb your hair out without disturbing the style, the bond was never set. Do you hear me? When you wet your hair, you are taking your hair from alpha keratin to beta keratin. Alpha keratin is your hair in its natural state. When it's wet, you haven't stretched it, nothing. Alpha keratin. Beta keratin is the new state that your hair is in until the bond is broken again. With water, you only take the hair from alpha keratin to beta keratin with water. The only time that the hair goes from alpha keratin to beta keratin is if the hair is dry 100%. If your hair is not dry 100%, your hair never goes from alpha keratin to beta keratin. This is where single strand knots come from because the average person has 100,000 100, to 400,000 strands of hair on their head. 
you have 100,000 follicles on your scalp and every follicle is independent. Every follicle is independent. You are in co-creation. You're supposed to be helping your body to do the things that it does naturally. So if you're a person who's going to leave a, a, a comment or if you disagree, at, please answer this for me. When you when you just air dry your hair, when you're just doing two strand twists, explain to me what you're doing to help your body get through your natural hair growth cycle. And while I wait for you to type, let me explain how mine works. So it, when you take the seven day challenge, you get things broken down on exactly how to break things down and how to put everything that I'm saying in place. But just a little snippet. When I was standing behind a chair, my clients had three hairstyles for the entire year. The main reason that women with naturally curly hair, hair keeps breaking off is because y'all are spending all of y'all time on social media and y'all have the impression that our hair is supposed to be in 50 million styles all the time. Think about the woman with the longest hair that you've ever seen in your life. I bet money every time you see her, her hair is the same way. Think about it. Think about it. Think about it. It doesn't make any sense. Like your hair does not have to be in 50 million hairstyles all the time. It does not have to be, you guys. In a month, in a year, my clients would have maybe three hairstyles and peep game. The third one only really came if if like they had an event. If they had like a special event to go to that year, like somebody was getting married or something, they got an updo. Or maybe they got a ponytail. Or if they was going out of town, if they was going on vacation for for like for the summer, if they was about to go out of town, they got a week or two off of work. Then they're going to get some crochet braids because they only going to have them for a minute while they're on vacation. Then when they come back, they're going to take them out. But y'all wear crochet braids for four years. That'd be the only thing y'all wear. You take them out, put them back in. 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 That's that's what I'm talking about. Like y'all have to pay attention. Your hair is not supposed to be in 50 million different hairstyles. And I'm not trying to be rude, y'all. The reason that y'all favorite YouTubers do 50 million hairstyles is because we as a YouTuber, because I get paid from YouTube too. As a YouTuber, I get paid based on the amount of views that I bring in. I can only bring in new views if I make new videos. The only way that people are going to watch is if I'm giving them some new information that they haven't heard me say before. As a scientist, I can talk about this forever. The human body is so complex. Oh, my God. We could talk about it forever. But if I'm making things up as I go based on what I'm reading on blogs, I'm only going to be able to make content for so long before I start just randomly throwing things out there. Another thing I want y'all to pay attention to is a lot of y'all favorite YouTubers have been making videos saying, I don't want to keep styling my hair because I'm going to break it off. A lot of y'all favorite YouTubers are not switching over the commentary because they're tired of making natural videos. A lot of them are doing it because they're starting to get hair weathering from doing all of these different styles. So I love y'all so much, but what I'm trying to say is we don't need to do a whole bunch of different styles. My love, pick a couple of looks and then stick with that. It's so funny because when I, when a lot of people, new people come to my channel, I wear my hair the same two ways to the point that if you have came on my channel within the last, what, maybe like the last three, four months, you were like, oh my God, that's not her hair. Yeah, because I wear my hair the same way. I'm not doing 50 million cabillion hairstyles. I'm not doing that. And when I do switch things up, I do things that resemble how my hair looks naturally. For example, I have 
like U parts and V part wigs that I have on rotation if I'm having an outbreak in my scalp and I want to wear my hair out. But I also, if I'm having an outbreak in my scalp, I can't touch my hair. I mean, I can touch it, but I don't, I'm not in my hair like that. So I'm chilling and my hair is blown out and it's in a ponytail. It's okay to have a week where you just put your hair in a ponytail. Like that's okay. You don't have to look red carpet ready every day. That's why most people's hair is falling out. When in the state of Nevada, this is not everywhere. In the state of Nevada, there are two separate licenses. There's one license for a hairstylist and there is another license for a cosmetologist. When I went to cosmetology school, hairstylists went at, on one day and I mean, at one time and cosmetologists went at another time and we were on two different sides of the school. Is In the state of Nevada, it's not the same license. Most cosmetologists don't do hairstyles. Do you hear? Listen to what I just said. Listen to me. Most cosmetologists don't do hairstyles. Not all, most. For example, is she the first person that popped up in my head? The master stylist. The master stylist has a specialty. She does a lot of stuff, but she is a shortcut killer. That is her specialty. That is her art form. And she teaches her clients how to maintain healthy hair. Her clients have healthy hair. Yes, they have relaxers. Their hair is healthy. Do you understand that? Like when I wear my hair short, when I wear my hair short, I'm getting two, three inches cut off the back of my neck every week. Y'all listen to me. When I wear my hair short, I like my hair like like almost like a ball fade, almost, but like a feminine ball fade in the back. So to get keep it like that, I'm getting my hair cut on a regular basis. So I'm saying that to say this, these women have healthy hair growth cycles. If you're a person who's getting a relaxer and you have to get a relaxer every 10 weeks, my love, that's new hair coming out. What you mean? So if you're not retaining length, something in your practices is breaking off your ends. So again, I want y'all to keep it simple, okay? I need you to, and I'm gonna get to y'all questions at the end. I need y'all to keep it simple. Like y'all make stuff so complicated and I get it. Listen, Team Natural been around for over a decade. If, if you on here, can everybody drop their ages for me real quick? If you're on here and you're under 30, you don't know anything about hair outside of team natural hacks if you are under 30 all you know about hair care is team natural and i'm not being disrespectful team natural has been out for 12 years if you're under 30 you come on like if you're in your 20s listen if you if you 26 24, 25, 26, you know nothing outside of Team Natural. Your whole adult life has been Team Natural. So this is this is something that I really want y'all to think about. This is something that I really, really, really want y'all to think about. I really need y'all to think about it, like for real. All right. So um, I prefer straight styles, but they don't last a full day because I sweat so much. So, again, I'm 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 in those shoes with you. I sweat all the time, too. So, you know what I had to do? I had to learn my scalp's profile. And once I learned my scalp's profile and once I knew my routines, my patterns, what I can and cannot do, then I was able to pick hairstyles that work for me. That's when when people say, oh, well, I do what works for me. That's when that matters. You do what works for you based on your life, based on your pattern, based on your scalp's routine. I mean, your your scalp's profile. But saying, oh, I do what works for me by you. Like that's the equivalent to somebody being like, like you saying when you get on the plane, oh, buckle your seatbelt up. Don't open that door. Don't open that door. We all going to die. We all going to fly out. That's like you being like. I just want some fresh air. What works for me? This is what it what, it's what works for me. I need fresh air in the air on the airplane. No. 
Science doesn't change based on your feelings and your emotions. It don't work like that. So, yeah. Uh, please leave me some comments below if y'all if that answers your question. If it didn't, then I'll try to go deeper into it. I don't really know what more I could say because I've been talking about this one question for 35 minutes. But I want y'all all to start finding different things to do to stretch your hair. Don't get mad at me. That's why I say don't watch this if you're sensitive. Like, y'all, actually look in the mirror and and everybody get a journal out. And tonight I need everybody to ask themselves, why am out of all of the hairstyles on this planet, why am I so stuck on washing goals and twist outs? Ask yourself that. It's something that has literally been drilled into your head. And guess what? You can't do a twist out and a wash and go without a shitload of products. You can't. You can't. But I can guarantee you, you do it my way, you only need two. And I don't, that's not including the shampoo and conditioner, but two. And that's going to be the leave-in conditioner and then whatever your style and product is, depending on what you're doing. So we need to figure out what our what our our scalp's profile is. Learn your body, learn the science of your body, learn your skin cell turnover cycle, learn all of that. And once you know who you are, once you know your body's profile, it's nothing. Okay, this my porosity. Okay, this my sebum level. Okay, this is my sweat gland. My sweat gland is is low, medium, or high. The activity, like, and it's like the thank you. I'm not even supposed to be looking at comments yet, but yes, like yes, it's like, and to me, this is why black women are so easily manipulated. The the prettier they paint it and the more they make it, the, the more simplistic they they make it sound, the prettier the boat is, y'all will buy it with no questions asked, no scientific research, no nothing. And you will argue and fight without doing one bit of research. Like it is, it is literally the craziest thing I've ever seen. Like black women will come in my lives. And and be like, that's not true. Black women, we need oil. And at the like at, at any second, everybody listening to the sound of my voice can literally just type in in Google, does the human scout produce its own oil? And it's going to give you the name of the gland, what it produces, and everything else. Why are we arguing about it? I do not make videos to change people's minds. I make videos so y'all can think about it because it doesn't matter what anybody says in the comments. When the video goes off, you are going to think about what I just said. Why are you so hell-bent on doing wash and goes? Why? When there are so many other styles, if flat irons, we don't have to talk about it. Blow dryers, we do not have to talk about it. Don't. We don't, you don't have to do that. So all of the other things that you could do, why can't you do that? So you cannot work against your, your body. The thing is, when you, when you do a twist out, your scalp is still getting wet. It's not not getting wet, but it's even worse now because your hair, the, your hair was never set in beta keratin ever. In the first place, it was never in beta keratin. And then yo, you're sweating, so it's causing it to swell even more. Y'all, it's not, it's not complicated. I love y'all. Okay, we're about to move on. And I promise I'm going to get to y'all questions in a minute. I just really want to get to these because I just feel like everybody has these questions and this next one i don't okay listen i'm not being rude i'm not like calling you dumb or anything like that that this is not what i'm doing if you on here like i love you everybody like i'm so serious y'all can't see my face because like i said i'm in the middle of recording a video for y'all which means i'm doing my hair so i don't look cute and 
I just need you to know, like, I'm coming from love. I'm not calling you dumb. But I want us to think about it. Like, like right now, I'm your friend. Like, just think about, like, if I was your friend and let's say we just came out. I don't know. Let's say we, we just went out and both of us tipsy and we come in the house and we notice that your pants been on inside out this whole time. I'm like, I'm the pants. Like, like that. That's our energy. Like, if you sensitive, gone. Gone get. Go argue with your boyfriend. Okay? Like, we, we chilling. All right? No, that's not the one. No, I don't have it. I'm so sad. Okay, well, this is a question, but I want to go to, hold on, I got to find it because I'm going to be. Basically, she asked, I'll get back to this question in a minute. Well, we're going to talk about it, but yeah. So basically, she asked, how do you add conditioner? Like how, if, if you, no, that's what she said. If you don't use a comb, if you don't, if I, if you don't comb your hair, cause remember I said, don't detangle your hair wet. And we're going to talk about that too. She said, if, if I can't use a comb to detangle my hair, how do I get the conditioner in my head? Y'all, I'm not being rude. Do y'all see how, how crazy that sounds? She again, if I can't use a brush, if I can't use a comb, how do I get the conditioner in my head? And I just wish I could find it because I said, love, don't take offense to this. But after you get out of the shower and you 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 wash up, wh however, whatever you use, soap, body wash, whatever, when you get out, how do you put on lotion? Do you use a comb or do you use your hands to put on lotion? Y'all, do y'all hear how chaotic this this community has y'all mind to the point that you think that there's a certain way to put on conditioner to the to the point that you think that there is a certain procedure that you have to follow to put on conditioner? Oh my God, like y'all, I swear to God on everything I love, hair is not that complicated. And you could check my reviews or just look in the comments of my videos. People are like, oh my God, like I'm I'm in shock. I can't believe I did all of this all these years, spent all of this money, went through all of this. And now just with doing this, these little simple things, my hair is longer than it's ever been in my life with zero effort. I'm not making it up. The way that y'all have been doing things is is making it overly complicated. So I don't want y'all to be like hell bent and stuck on that. Y'all, like it doesn't make any sense. Hold on, y'all. I was looking at something. Yeah, so I don't I don't want you guys to be like stuck in that loophole. Like it doesn't make sense. Why would you what? It's not complicated. When you need to put on conditioner, baby, take the conditioner out the bottle and put it on your hair. Just don't rub it into the scalp. Let it sit for its right amount of time, rinse it out, and then set your mind. It's not complicated. Do you understand? They have to make, they like, you need a cause and effect. You need a problem to present a solution. So they got to make your hair out to be this like scary, hard to do thing that not, like there's no way you could come through it unless you wet it or unless you have this product. What? That's not true. My hair has not been matted in years. And the last time it was matted, it was by mistake. It was because I was doing, I did a brand deal with Maven and their hair was trash sickles. And I only had the hair in my hair for a week, but I had went swimming. And when I went swimming, their hair matted up with my hair in the braids. That was the only time my hair has been matted in freaking years, y'all. Hair getting matted is not normal. I know y'all not going to hear this. Matted hair is not normal. 
If your hair is matted, it's because your bonds were not set properly and you didn't stretch your hair right you, or you didn't separate your hair right. When people say, oh, well, I don't, I don't use combs. I finger detangle. You have 100,000 follicles on your scalp. Each follicle has one to four strands. You have four fingers and two thumbs. Yeah, no, eight fingers and two thumbs. My bad. Eight fingers and two thumbs, but a hundred thousand to four hundred thousand follicles. I mean, uh, hair strands, and you can't understand why your hair is breaking off. You can't understand why your hair is so tangled all the time. I need y'all to think about it. Make it make sense. It doesn't have. We don't have to argue about it. It doesn't have to be an argument. Okay, so a perm is better than natural hair or easier, I guess, since wearing it straight is ideal. So nobody ever said wearing your hair straight is ideal, but I think because everybody's been so like, don't take offense to this, but everybody, everybody determines who they're going to listen to based on how their hair looks. You you look at somebody and you'll judge them and say, oh, you only believe people wear their hair straight because your hair is always straight. Like, first of all, my hair is always blown out. When I wear you part wigs, the only time that I blow dry my hair is the day that I wash it. Do you hear me? That is the only day that it's blow dry. After that, when my hair reverts back, it doesn't matter because I use a kinkier textured hair extension. So when I sweat in my scalp and my hair reverts back, it doesn't matter because you can't tell because my hair matches the extensions that I use. The extensions that I use look like blown out or or natural hair that has sweated out. So I do different things. I have different patterns, different routines. Straight hair is not better than than natural hair. It's not better than curly hair. This is something that people who follow team natural stuff, this is something that is in your head. Nobody else's. In the hair salon, I don't care what texture hair you have. I'm using the same brush. Do you hear me? I don't use a different round brush for a black girl versus a white girl versus a Hispanic girl versus an Asian girl. What? When I say I've had over 47, over 45,000 clients, I mean that. And they were of all races. I have been doing hair in Las Vegas, Nevada, and not the hood part of Las Vegas, Nevada, the bougie part. That's why, oh my God, like, hi. Oh my God, Sin, hi, how are you doing? Well, oh my God. Because that's how the majority of the girls in the building sound. And my clients that were African-American would drive to me. Do you, do you, do you feel me? So I need y'all to understand it ain't, oh, this is better than this. What? No, it's not. One is better than the other. They had to tell you that so they could get views. They had to tell you that so you you would have a preference, this content over this content. But in a hair salon, you go book a hairstylist, you could book a relaxer, you could book a perm. I didn't do keratin treatments, but you if, if somebody did a keratin treatment, you could book that. Hair extensions, like black women, not all black women, but women love being like, I don't wear hair extensions because I love myself. And as a black woman, like, and black women, you need to stop wearing weaves. Do y'all understand every woman walking the face of this earth wears weaves? Go watch one of these little dating shows where they be on the island and stuff and watch them get wet and get in the pool. And you're going to see all the micro links. You're going to see all of the tape ins. Tape in extensions, micro link extensions are not new, y'all. That's been out for decades. But black girls, we're not getting them. Black girls are getting them now. Because people are needing to do a new stuff because team natural content ain't hitting like it used to. So now they recycling stuff that's been out for decades. If you a licensed cosmetologist, you already know I ain't lying. Tape-ins, clip-ins, micro-link, micro-link fusions. What do you mean? 
That's been out forever since before I got my license. It's not new. But if all you know is Team Natural and all you know and the only information you get is from a YouTuber, that's all you're going to know. That's why I make videos so I can bring the information to you so you can go search for yourself. I don't need fans or followers. I don't. I'm doing my part. And my part is not sitting around idly while I watch y'all self-destruct. I've been saying the same thing for years and I'll never change it no matter who come up against me. I don't care. Because it's all just chatter. And the same people who was coming up against me five years ago, you don't even hear from now. They they make content reacting to celebrity breakups. So these are things that I really, really want everybody to think about. This is the last one that I'm reading. And then I'm going to get all into y'all questions. We're going to do like a quick little question and answer. And then by that time, my food will be here. <laughs> that sounded so chunky. Okay, and drink some water. This is a long one. Okay. Can y'all see this good? You said, hi, Sindal. You are absolutely correct about detangling wet hair. I was brand new to the natural hair. I only had braids twice. Both times I was told to put conditioner on my wet hair after taking my braids out. My hair was so tangled and I didn't know what to do. I pulled out so much hair that I knew, oh, excuse me, so much hair that I knew that amount of hair coming out was not normal. It got so bad, I decided to cut out the knots. After that happened, I realized braids were not for me because I had balls and handfuls of long hair coming out. I always had broad length hair until my hair appointment with the Dominicans for color, which resulted in overprocess. And she told me I had lost a lot of hair that it needed to be cut. And after that, I continued making appointments for almost two years without realizing she was frying my hair. It's been back to back setbacks, and that's what led me to braids. I'm starting over with you applying your science to my hair care regimen. So, the reason that I wanted to read that is because I think that that is so many different women's stories. Like it's it's so it's it's so many of your stories, and I know that most of the time the situations that you find yourself in are only situations that you find yourself in because you're trying to do your hair. You're trying to find the easier way to do your hair. And most of the time, the shortcuts that you take are the things that end up setting you back. And the main reason that I wanted to read this is because of the part where you were talking about um, putting conditioner in your hair. And this is not the first, second, third, or fourth time that I've heard that. I've seen so many YouTube videos where YouTubers and professional cosmetologists and professional, you're fine, go ahead, and professional cosmetologists are literally telling their clients like, hey, when you comb your, before you comb your hair out, put conditioner in it. And that is literally the fastest way to get matted, tangled hair. So that is why I... I, I tell y'all the stuff that I tell y'all because I want you to really know the science because when you know the science of hair, like stuff like that, you're not, you're not going to listen to it. And I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about you, boo. I'm just saying like, let's say you would have already talked to me and then, or watch one of my videos, did your research for yourself. And then they say, oh, do that. You would have been like, huh, okay. But then when you laugh, you'll be like, she crazy as hell. I'm not about to put water in my head and my hair is going to be matted because your hair is weak as when, you, when it's wet. Boo -boo -boo -boo. You know what I mean? And just to explain, the reason that your hair mats up when you wet it before you detangle it is because once you wet the hair, the hair is paralyzed. And you cannot make somebody that's paralyzed move. How can you do that? 
That is what I mean by detangling your hair before you wet it. And then the next question is like, oh, well, how do I do it without conditioner? Do y'all understand that the thing that gives conditioner its slip is oil? Do y'all get that? Go look up. Give me a two if you want me to pull up a video of to show y'all exactly how a conditioner is made. A conditioner is nothing but water, oil, and wax. That's it. Water breaks the hydrogen bond. The 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 um what you call it? If it's the wrong type of conditioner, it'll clog the follicle. And the oil within the conditioner is the thing that's making it slippery. So if you take out the oil and you take out the wax. You're just left with oil. So why would you not just detangle your hair with oil? Like, I'm not being rude. I'm just, and I'm not talking to any of y'all specifically. I'm talking to the people who watch and say, detangling with oil don't make sense. It What doesn't make sense is you saying that detangling with oil doesn't make sense. Because the only thing that is making your hair feel slippery with the conditioner is oil. So. Yeah. Make sure that if you detangle your hair, and this is with anything, use a non comedogenic oil. Comedogenic means that it is going to block the follicle or block the pore. So, something like coconut oil, comedogenic. It's a five on the scale. It is extremely comedogenic and, and it's protein seeking. And your hair is the protein. So, it literally seeks protein and it binds to it. This is why if you get a if you go to get a silk press and you got coconut oil in your hair, it is literally a cosmetologist nightmare. Like I would know when people had coconut oil in their hair and I don't care what nobody talking about. I used to add an extra charge. Yes, I did. I remember one time I almost ran through a whole bottle of clarifying shampoo trying to remove coconut oil from her head because she would put coconut oil in her hair every day. And go to sleep soaking in coconut oil. And then she would get in the shower and just rinse it off with water. And then came to get her hair washed. But had been putting coconut oil on her hair every single day. For like a year. And then want to come get a silk press for the first time. Yeah. It was an extra charge 100%. Because I had to do a full deep follicle detox. And a deep cuticle detox. These are things that I really want us to think about, y'all. Okay, so now I'm about to head into your questions or whatever. Hold on, sugar. Hold on, sugar, man. And that's what I mean. This picture that's on here, this picture is so old, y'all. This is my old house when I first moved in it. I literally wear my hair the same way all the time. Like, I don't have 50 million hair cells, and neither should you. Okay. Moderators, please. If you find, if y'all see any irritating people, please kick them out. I, I'm Flo going to be here any day now. Any day. She is on the way. And I'm, oh, I got a short fuse today. I'm just being honest. It's a minute. Okay. I love you, baby. Me too. Can you close the bathroom door? Yeah. Okay. Ew. Okay. I see. Is there a technique I can use to grow my hair? Using straight styles. I have color, not relaxers. My preferred hairstyle is a silk press or roller set. Baby, your hair is, as long as you keep your scalp clean, your hair is going to grow. Keep your keep up with your trims, which I have a video next week coming about that. And you're good. There is no like secret pattern. That you need to follow, babe. Everybody's hair grows. Everybody's. 
but everybody doesn't retain lint and everybody doesn't have a healthy hair growth cycle. So, babe, keep your scalp clean. Make sure that you're not overdoing it. One problem that most people run into, if your, if your blowout isn't good enough, your silk press doesn't last. So you end up using a whole lot of heat on your hair when you're not supposed to. That's what messes up your hair. So make sure that you're not that your blowout is good enough to the point where you only do one to two passes on your hair. And make sure that you take really, really small sections. Like don't take big old chunks. I don't care how long it takes, take really small sections, right? So that way you get even distribution and your hair will stay straighter longer. And then after like most people, they they still press the last like two weeks, right? So let your silk press last for those two weeks. And then after those two weeks, wash your hair. And then if you are a person who just likes twist outs or like, I, like for example, you could just shampoo, blow dry your hair with leave-in conditioner. And then you could put flat twists in your hair. But like style your hair and not styling it like for a vanity metric. I mean, set the bond. You y'all don't walk outside wet, so why are you walking outside with your bonds and say y'all don't walk outside with y'all pores open? So why are y'all walking outside with y'all hair in alpha keratin? Why are y'all walking outside before y'all set the hydrogen bond? So that's it. That's all. That's all you gotta do, babe. It's nothing complicated. It's nothing complicated. Just don't overdo it. And like I said, have your your set couple styles. Like for example, my set, I'm having three styles for the year. One will be me wearing my hair straight. The other one will be me wearing my hair blown out with V parts. And the other one will be me doing an install because I got this cute little shaved side that I'm like about to make cute and I'm about to put green in my hair, but it's, I'm not coloring my hair. So yeah, I'm having fun. Yeah. So I just really, really want you to just get three styles and stick to those. Like I'm not being rude, but we not little. Like just like my daughter, I want to say maybe last year, my daughter was like, mom, can you not put my hair in ponytails no more? Can we not do pigtails? Like y'all grown. Why do we need to do hairstyles every other day? Like get a style and pick it. This ain't musical chair. Sit your little ass. Sit your ass down somewhere. We don't want to make your nipples itch. Well, thank you. What? I thought you made a Yeah, you came in on a. That's a weird part to come in on. I was just saying, like, oh, I was telling people not to irritate me because it was going to make my nipples itch. But I don't have itchy nipples. Because when nobody got on my nerves, I was asking the moderators to make sure you kick everybody out so they won't. Okay. Okay. I know this is a bit off topic, but I have two heat protectors at home right now. Both are in the red bottles. RC and Chi, which is the best to use? Hey, either one. Listen to me. And I want everybody to hear me when I say this. The which product is better? That is a YouTube mentality. Girl, a heat protector is a damn heat protector. Girl, pick one. Which one smell better? Which one smell better? The only person who's in competition is the person who's selling it to you. You not. Girl, pick one. Pick one. Any mini, mighty mo, catch a heat protector by his little red toe. Okay? It ain't that complicated. Hey, send out, hey, boo. You are changing my life. Oh, I finally get it now. Thank you so much. You are loved and appreciated. Okay, can I say something? Can I just say that you made me teary-eyed because I just want to be real. Can I have a five if I can be real? And I'm about to, so if don't nobody give a five, oops, my bad. Um, I'm going to be honest. But my, my dad it was older, so... All of the people that I was around was older. And my father's side of the family didn't treat me the 
best all the time or the energy wasn't the best towards me all the time. So I don't really like older women. Well, in the past, I didn't really like older women like that because I felt like any any time, and this is this is my experience. Anytime I came in contact with the older woman, they were always critical and judgmental and rude. For example, like my like I when when I was like 11 I woke up with ass okay and every older woman that I came in contact with oh you fast oh why you got those tight pants on and I could literally have on sweatpants and it didn't matter like why you got those tight pants on like so I I grew up with like like on the defense with older women because every old like there's no older women, woman in my life that was like that like even my grandmothers both of them so naturally um whenever whenever you first made that comment it just instantly made me like here we go like oh and it really irritated me because like for, I, I told you why so you know where my irritation came from when you made that comment so I just feel like I take my hat off to you and I love you and I honor you because I don't think that any woman your age has ever been accountable to me before. Like I've never, I've never had a real, Hey, I'm sorry, girl. That was, I was just tripping you. I was just tripping because I didn't understand. And, but girl, thank you. I've never, this is the first time. I have ever had this response from a woman your age. So I just want to thank you. I appreciate you. And just as much as like, I'm changing something for you. You definitely just, oh, I told you I was on my period. I'm about to cry. Like I, you are definitely trying, you definitely just like shook something up with me. So I just want to say thank you back. And if you need anything or if you have like any specific requests, then please let me know. Like the things that I know now, I didn't know. Well, most of the stuff I didn't know. But a lot of the like deep scientific stuff I didn't know when I was in cosmetology school. I was teaching my instructors that, you know, so a lot of the ways that most people think I used to think that way, too. My daughter had a cradle cap, too, because when 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 my children were babies, I only knew surface level education. So I made the same types of mistakes. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> OK, let's let's be hard again. Let's stop. With all this soft stuff, you know what I'm saying? But thank you. I appreciate you. Is wearing your hair in the afro okay? Yes, baby. It's okay. But remember, it's a hairstyle. So I wouldn't do it all the time. But you can have an afro week if you want. But an afro is a hairstyle. So, I mean, I wouldn't do it. But, I mean, you're not me. And it's as long as you... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to be rude. We waste more time on results instead of research. That's what I mean. Like, forget y'all. The next time y'all watch a YouTube video, have a notebook the whole time, and every time she makes or he makes a a, a quote or oh, it's gonna do this, it's gonna do that, it's gonna do this. Just go look it up. Go look it up. Go look it up and be like, is this true? Is this? And after you do it, type in that Bill, they can't hear nothing. Go ahead. Type in dot edu dot med at the end. Because if you don't type dot med dot edu, then you're just going to get a random uh, blog post by some random girl that's randomly talking some bullshit. That's true. I only had two styles, roller sets or straight hair when my hair was the healthiest ever. That's what I'm saying. Like, your hair is not meant to be pulled and tugged. That's a myth. Oh, black hair is curly, so we can take it. No, no, it can't. 
Why do you think your hair is shorter than everybody else's? Because y'all keep doing all these twisties and ponytails. Like, y'all think about this. The natural hair growth cycle is seven years, right? So if you have a daughter, your daughter does not have a full hair growth cycle until she's seven years old. But most black women, most black women, their daughters have barrettes, ponytails, rubber bands, braids, all types of tight styles in their head before they hit one. So before your baby even completes one hair growth cycle, her her follicle is being stressed and your baby has telogen effluvium before she finishes a hair growth cycle. Listen. Something I want. I had to go close the door. It's something I want everybody to think about. Think about it. Hey, hey, sugar bear. Hey, baby. Finally call a live chat. So enjoyed your sharing knowledge. You are truly hard telling the folks to go back to basics because y'all doing too much and breaking your hair off. That's what I'm saying. Like, like it got to They got to be like, what a new method straight out of the Himalayan. The bagging booty cheek method. All you got to do Put on some booty cheek shorts and get a bag and some conditioner and get some rice and some pickles and shake them up real fast and get some uh, get some avocado dirt and get some lava dirt. Mix it all together in a pot. Mix it with some vinegar and then put it in your hair. Your hair is going to grow faster than you've ever seen it grow before. Mix this in your hair, do this to your hair, and your hair is going to grow four inches in four days. And then y'all go do this. Y'all go do it. Y'all go do it. And by the time, by the time you've done what they told you to do the first time, they got a new video. No, you thought the last one was something, but this time is different today. We're going to use rice nipple juice. You just take some rice and you put it in a bowl and you just let it sit there and ferment. Yes, let bacteria, unknown bacteria grow until it's really funky and then put it in your hair and let it sit for days. Your hair will never stop growing, ever. And then day after day after day after day after day after day is something else. Y'all went from blow dryers are the devil. Don't ever use a blow dryer to promote in a $500 blow dryer and have everybody buy it. So hairstylists that use blow dryers have been the devil for, for over 10 years, for over 10, 12 years. But overnight, we can stick our hair in a hole and press a button and that's healthy? If y'all don't see when y'all being played, nobody will. Nobody will. Nobody will. I think the issue is we don't know how to style natural hair. You know why? Because nobody do. Because it's not supposed to be styled like that. And that is the thing that Black women have a hard time hearing because for the last 12 years, y'all have been finding y'all divinity, y'all sovereignty, or y'all confidence in y'all hair and in your curl pattern. And without your curl pattern, you, you don't have anything to be a victim with. I'm sorry. Don't, I said don't come if you're sensitive. Like, Somebody can say, I don't like that hairstyle. Oh, you hurt my feelings. I'm black. And this is how I wear my hair. Beef up. That's why y'all getting y'all feelings hurt. Because somebody said, I don't really like the way that that looks. Like, it's, what are we talking about? I love y'all. The reason that natural hair is hard to style is because your hair is not supposed to be styled in that state. Name the woman on this earth. Name me the race of woman on this earth that just randomly puts her hair in a whole bunch of hairstyles when it's soaking wet and has healthy hair. Other women from other races get hydrophytic too. They get cerberic dermatitis too. 
they get scalp psoriasis too if they have the type of practices that y'all have. That's why go search social media. White women are suing some of the companies that y'all use because they started putting oil on their scalp like y'all did and got severe seborrheic dermatitis. Because oil doesn't go on anybody's scalp, but it definitely don't go on a Caucasian person's scalp because their follicles are a, a little bigger than ours. Our follicles are like flat. Theirs are like oval shaped. So the oil coming right out. So you're causing an infection fast on their hair. Their hair is full. Their scalp is full of bacteria fast because the follicle is bigger. Not because they nasty. The follicle is bigger. It's wider. That's it. These are things that I want y'all to think about. And the thing is, when you know the science of hair, you don't have to argue about stuff. That's why, like, I, I know it'll probably make people feel away, but I, I don't have a problem with you having a question. Like, with you saying, like, oh, well, you said don't do this, but I've been doing it and it's been working. Can you explain this a little more? I don't have a problem with that. But if you, like... No, because you don't know what you're talking about. You dumb because I've been doing it for this long. I'm blocking you. I swear to God, I don't have time for that. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not here to change anybody's mind. I'm here to make you think. Y'all haven't been thinking. Y'all just been running to the beauty supply store, spending all of y'all money. Then after you spend the money, it don't work. And then you want to complain about product lines being scammers and everybody taking your money where in reality you're the one who's irresponsible spending your money on stuff you don't know nothing about so is it the product lines or is it you is it the youtubers or is it you i don't blame youtubers for the the place that black women are in i blame black women and we have to have accountability just like that beautiful black goddess like hey mama you my mama now she had accountability. We need to be accountable. We have no accountability. I suck my hair when I work out. I put my hair in four ponytails and wipe it after I finish working out and wait a little then. I take the cloth bands out. I wear my hair. I, I wear my hair straight, roller set. I think it's about the relationship we as Black women have in general with one another. I think you are 100% right. I agree with you 10,000%. I do. This was me asking for the ages of everybody that was in here, for the people who are just coming in. I really do appreciate you. Thank you so much. I really do. It was a tear jerker. It was a tear jerker. Oh, you're not telling me you just... You just saying you're, oh, 42 years young. I was about to say, are you just saying you're as young? Like you mind my business? Each I have high porosity hair and do a roller set weekly. Yes, I keep my ends with a little jojoba hair. I got oil and I wrap. I need to sit on a silent pillowcase. Yes, but just one thing. Just just scratch the oil on your ends. Just, just please. It's a habit. It's a habit. It's like crack. It's like crackhead, like crackhead day. Like I don't do crack no more, but I still be. I drink. I I, I drink a little something now. I I, I drink a little something. Little, mm, mm, that's crackhead stuff. You do not need oil on your ends. You don't. The sebum that is coming from your follicle is going to protect your ends. Stop doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We think easy is the work. Easy is the way. Yes, and that's that's the main reason that I want to make this. Like they they, but they could. This is how you know you've been conditioned. They conditioned you for twelve years and then unconditioned your ass in seconds. Unconditioned you in fucking seconds with a blow dryer that's five hundred dollars. Now the women who, now, now the same women who argue with me about you, about not doing washing goals are the same women who use in the Rivera blow dryer or however the hell you say it, the glory hole blow dryer. If that's not some stupid shit, I don't know what is. 
the same woman who's yeah who got a problem with me saying that a wash and go is not a hairstyle or that, that should be done on a regular basis is the same woman sticking her hair in the hole. The same women who cry team natural are the same women going to Connecticut and paying an old ass white lady $1,200, $2,500 for a jerry curl. And now today in 2024, everybody's hair is falling out. I saw one girl talking about she bought the sewer. But when I told y'all about it three years ago, I was a hater. I was hating on that white lady. That's what I mean. I'm only here for the people who want it. Everybody else that want to argue, you leave a comment, you arguing. Listen, if you if you disagree with something I'm saying, screen record it and go talk to your friends about it. But if you come in my comments with it without facts to back it, I'm blocking you because I have been going back and forth with women about this for the last 12, 13 years. And I'm done. I'm, I'm not walking into this next year with that. I'm not walking into 2024 going back and forth with women who don't know one thing from another thing. Like most women that that will say something can't even name four hair shaft disorders. So if you can't name four hair shaft disorders right off the top of the dome, don't say nothing to me. Okay, I have a good process going. I'll roll this out my hair and keep my ends. Yep. Barely had breakage. You wouldn't have no breakage if you stopped putting oil on your ends. Please stop putting oil on your ends. Yeah. Ooh, listen. That's why you a moderator. Because you you about to come up on stage and start preaching to the people. Wash and go to his house. Uh, allow us not to worry about sweat, rain, humidity, and mess up the look of the style. Listen to what you just said. That's a nice way to say it, 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 it depletes you of all accountability. You don't have to do nothing when all you're doing is twisting your hair and leaving it sitting on your head. Your, your hair is still sweating. The same way that it would sweat if it was in a style is not not sweating because it's in a twist. It's still sweating in a twist. Still. Every, all of the same things are still happening. The only difference is when you're when 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 you sweat, your follicle don't have nowhere to go but even expand it more because you never set your hair from alpha keratin to beta keratin. So your hair just stays there. Your cuticle and your follicle is swollen. And the majority of the women who argue with me, they be like, I've been doing this for 10 years. And it's, it's like, girl, 10 years ain't nothing. What you talking about? Most of the women that book me for one-on-one -on -one consultations are between the ages of 50 and 75. What are you, what are you talking about? You've been doing it for 10 years? What's that? You you've been doing it for five minutes. You've been doing it for ten years. Hair weathering takes anywhere between six weeks and twenty five years to show up. So if you've been doing it for ten years, my baby, I'll talk to you in fifteen. Let's talk in fifteen and let's see how all of this then worked out. That's why I'm not arguing about it because today I had a consultation with someone who is experiencing something in their scalp because they went to a hairstylist that sold them an oil that gave them folliculitis and told them, oh, it's just growing dandruff. Oh, it's just growing pains. There are trash hairstylists out here and you're going to be a victim if you don't know the science. You are going to be a victim if you're too prideful to learn anything new. You don't know. You don't know. You don't. And it's okay. Not you, babe. It's, it's okay. You don't know. And it's okay to say, I don't know. And I'm trying to learn. But two strand twist is not it. You're, you're not, you still have to worry about sweat with a twist. You still have to worry about rain. You still have to worry about humidity. Messing up the look. There's no look. You just twisted your hair and it's just sitting on your head. But guess what? If you set the bond, 
if you set the bond, first of all, if it's raining outside, don't you got an umbrella? Don't you got a hat? If it's humid, are you standing outside for long periods of time or are you going from the car to the building and from the building back to the car? I grew up in Detroit, Michigan. There's nothing but humidity there. Nothing but humidity there. My mama got my hair in a wrap every two weeks. It was just quick in and out. We ain't camping outside. But then sometimes if my mama didn't want to waste money, I wasn't getting a silk wrap. Sometimes my mama would give me a roller wrap where she gave me a roller stain, then took me from under the dryer and then wrapped me again, put me back under the dryer. And then I came out and my hair looked like a silk press. That's an option too. It's up to you. It's up to what, what you want to do. But it's not protecting you from sweat. You're still sweating. You're still getting held up for from humidity. Your, your curl pattern is still reverting back. But guess what? When, when, your, when your hydrogen bond breaks, your, your, your hair doesn't have any pattern to go back to. It has no pattern to go back to because you never set one. You just put products in your hair, twisted it up, let it air dry or set under the dryer, and that was it. There's no uniformity anywhere. So as soon as you go outside, the ends break. I mean, as soon as you go outside, it reverts back. I sweat in my scalp too. It don't revert back like that. I just don't. My, It's not even the sweat that is the reason that I don't wear my hair straight. It's the oil. My hair is so oily. It's not the sweat. Because if I wrap my hair at night, when, when my hair gets wet, the it goes from alpha keratin to beta keratin, but not all the way because it's not, it ain't like I poured a water bottle on myself. So then as I let it, as I let my hair dry, like it's wrapped up. It was a woman that was in here. She said she goes to work out and she has her hair in a certain thing, a certain way. And then when she takes it, excuse me, she takes it out, she wraps it up, it dries while she's getting dressed, and then she keeps going. Same thing. Set the bond. Wash and goes and twist outs are lazy hairstyles. I'm sorry. I'm Say what you, nobody does them because, oh my God, it's so good for my hair. You do it because it's quick and it's easy and you don't have to worry about anything. All you got to do is get a water bottle and some products, do some little finger coils and you good. So. Do your thing, 21. Do your thing. If that's what you want to do, do it. But I'm going to see you. Let, let's talk when you've been doing it for about 25 years and get your hair bone straight and let's see what it's hitting for. And then, okay. But I ain't seen one that do it that turn out with the girl by. Anyway, not girl by you. I'm just talking about the subject. What about us who straighten our hair but work out daily and sweat? Would that be C? Yep, I just answered that. The issue is also the instructions on the bottle say to comb it through. Listen to me. Combing and detangling are two different things. Look up the definition. To detangle means to get knots out. The bottle says comb through hair. It doesn't say detangle your hair with it. Those are two different things. Do y'all understand? When your hair has knots and tangles in it, you're not combing it. You're detangling it. That's what I need. That This is the stuff that I really want y'all to know and understand. And, and these are the things that is the difference between a care stylist, a licensed cosmetologist, and somebody who's playing in hair. Detangling your hair means that you're removing tangles and knots and mats. You don't do that on wet hair. You don't do that with conditioner. That when, when a product says comb through hair, they're saying comb through hair. That's because you need to get the product from like from mid shaft to ends. That's why. 
The bottle doesn't say detangle, comb through knots with. That's not what it says. I'm not being rude. Y'all have to read and understand the directions. The product does not say detangle with you, comb out knots with. It says comb through hair. If you have knots and tangles in your hair, you're not combing the product through your hair. You're combing your hair out. That's not the issue. The instructions do not tell you to detangle knots out of your hair with conditioner. I'm looking right at bottles right now. The back of the Olaplex bottle says, after you rinse the shampoo out, put it, put the conditioner in your hair and comb through from roots to ends. You were supposed to have your hair detangled before your hair was even shampooed. So why would a professional brand put on a bottle for you to detangle your hair with conditioner in it when common sense that, that we're supposed to have, and I'm not being rude with you, the people who makes the products, they think that we know that you're supposed to comb your hair before you wet it. So I'm not being rude, but they these product lines are not just putting every, they're not talking to us like we too. They're, they're, they're making products for grown women. They think you know. They think that you know that you're not supposed to comb your hair. You're not supposed to wet your hair while it's tangled. They think that you know that before you shampooed your hair, your hair was supposed to be detangled. That's why it's not on the bottle. Because they think that you know. Because they say it all the time. But then when they do say it, y'all fill up the comments and be like, nope, not for black women. Black women not supposed to do that. It was just a white lady that had like beautiful hair and she was like, hey, whatever you do, guys. She literally said the same thing that I said. Don't comb your hair wet. Don't detangle your hair wet. And then everybody like it's so embarrassing when you look at the comments. All of the positive comments are from non-black women and all of the negative comments are from black women like, no, nah, sis, you don't know what the hell you talking about. Not us. Not black women, not us. Y'all look so ignorant to the outside world, man. That's why I make videos like this, because I'm so sick of us looking dumb to everybody. We look dumb. It is like, even though they know I'm not dumb, when I get in these rooms with these people and I have to explain certain things, it's like, Oh, like I hate that I have to explain that all of us don't think like that. All of us aren't. No, we don't all think. So we need to learn the science of hair. The instructions do not say detangle. It says comb. There is a difference between combing the hair and detangling the hair. Combing is exactly what it sounds like. The definition of combing and de Tangling is exactly what it sounds like. Deconstructing the tangles. Ooh, hello. How are you? I gotta go to the bathroom. Y'all, hold on for a minute. Hold on. I just gotta pee pee. All right, players. All right, players. <laughs> I have to go pee pee. <laughs> I have to go pee pee. Oh, I love you. Hey, boo. The so called natural hair community feels like an evil cult because I low key got cussed out by some. <laughs> oh, for buying a conditioner with silicones over Shea Morris. Listen, let me tell you something. Them telling y'all not to buy silicones is the biggest scam that has ever hit the market. Think peep game. And think about this. And this is what I mean by Team Natural being so, uh, ooh, I almost cussed, being so damn hip, or that's just still cussed, being so damn hypocritical that it don't make no sense. And that's why I make these videos because I need y'all to ca like catch the hypocrisy for me real quick. 
So we've been anti-chemical, anti-blow dryer, anti-heat for all of these years, right? For all of these years. But everybody doing keratin treatments now, and you still natural when you do keratin. Like literally everybody has switched their tone. Everybody has switched their tone. Oh, I'm still natural. Oh, I'm doing this. Or I'm putting this. Or I'm just getting a silk amino treatment. That's not a relaxer. Or I'm getting this. Or I'm getting a Gina curl. I'm still natural. I'm still natural. Do y'all understand that you doing the lock method is 10 times worse than any product that has silicone? Are you serious? You do the lock method and layer liquid oil and cream on your hair, but you don't use silicone? Like, girl. Girl. And when you think about it, this is what I'm going to say about that. Because I'm all about, I'm all about experiments. I challenge you. I want y'all to get a, somebody, at least one person on here, do this to me. Not necessarily right now. That would be great if you could right now, but one day. Sit down, figure out when the first video was made that was talking about silicones, no silicones, and then time how fast a product products with no silicones came out. Let's see. I bet money it ain't more than a month. Follow the money every time. Follow the money. Follow the money. Stop playing with me. I'll comb my hair before I start my wash. I put conditioner in. I just figure home. I don't shampoo mixing my hair up. Oh my hair before my wash. Good. Thank you. Always comb your hair before you wet it. Even to sure. No issues, little breakage. Yes. Yeah, because when you was little, when you was little, your mama would do your hair. And you couldn't touch it until your next wash day. And you wasn't going in the room every day. Your mama wasn't coming to your room spraying your damn hair down with no water bottle. You could comb through the conditioner, but seeing it's saying don't detangle your hair wet with conditioner. If you detangle your hair properly with oil before you wash your hair, the conditioner will not. Ha! Oh, some of the nah, nah. <laughs> That's all the player trying to say. Mm, it's all the player trying to stay in the play. Mm, that's it, baby. Oh, that's it, baby. You, you the one. Hold on. I'm about to, hold on. You, 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 sister girl. You, the way, the way you just put that back there, smack jack like that, girl. You about to be right there, my ready. You hear me? Mm -hmm. Right goddamn now. Hold on, Shalissa. Hold your ass up, girl. Hold up. I don't know who Shalitha is, but wait a minute. Where is your name? Oh, girl, say something else if you still in here because I ain't got my glasses on and I can't see. Oh, there you go. I got you. I got you. I got you, baby. I got you, baby. Bang. Moderate up in here with your smart ass. Oh, with your oh, with your listening comprehension skills. Oh, that's all the player was trying to say. That's all I be trying to say. It ain't even that complicated, dog. That's a shame that that's why we have different brands. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing, like social YouTube to sell y'all black girl products. Cause think about it. If y'all would have just, if they would have just came out with the same products that y'all see all the time, would y'all have went that crazy about it? Hell no. Nah. You went crazy about it because they made you feel like they made some special shit for you that can't nobody else use. So even though we constantly say we don't want to be separated, you, the way that they were able to get you is by separating you. I still use the same exact products that I used when I got my cosmetology license. I don't care what natural product they use. No. No. Ah. 
Mm-hmm. Because products are not products are not don't have nothing to do with race. Are you serious right now? Like a, a polymer don't give a shit about whether or not you black or white. That's that's human. That's a human mind frame. Are you serious? You think avocado oil gives a shit about whether or not you black or white? Are you serious right now? These products do not care about how you look. They do not care about you in the color of your skin. They don't. A polymer is a polymer. A heat protector is a heat protector. A serum is a serum. Just like, just like when you when we talking about clothes, right? Most of y'all, like, if you go in, like, I can't, I can't buy designer stuff. I mentally, I just can't do it because the same stuff that y'all see at Ross from a no name brand company that you've never heard from, and a pair of pants that you pay fifteen hundred dollars for, guess what? They was made in the same fucking factory. The only difference between one pair that's ten dollars and another pair that's twenty five hundred dollars is the label that was put on it. That is it, and that is all. And, and it is no, it's no different with hair. Like, I don't have a favorite product line. What do the ingredients say? What is your scalp's profile? If it matches your scalp's profile, let's do it. What are we talking about? With avocado oil, with almond oil, when I see that a product has oil in it, I run as far away from it as I can. With avocados, with this, with that, with this. Well, I should say that if it got team natural stuff on like 4B, 4C, I'm out of here. I used to be natural. If you have hair that's still coming out of your scalp, you are natural right now. You, Everybody's natural. The hair that is coming out of your scalp, whether it's relaxed, permed, heat trained, whatever, it's natural coming out of your scalp. But let, So let's kill that. Let that be step one. I can tell you that the wash and goes and twist out was breaking my hair. Having relaxers before natural, mm-hmm. my hair was growing. Having relaxers, natural care. Yeah. It took it, and you know why? It takes so much because they gotta make you believe. Like it's it's a it's a whole, it's a whole theatrical event, right? First, we got to make it seem like the whole industry don't care nothing about black women and they ain't making products for black women. And there's no black products on the shelves. Ain't no black products on the shelves. Do y'all understand the products that y'all, that y'all see, like the, the all of those team natural products, they never make it inside of Cosmoprof. They make it inside of Sally's, but they never make it inside of Cosmoprof. And if they do make it inside of a Cosmoprof, it's the ghetto Cosmoprof. But perf- like real, real professional cosmetologists, if they do see it, they walk in past it. So I definitely, ag- I definitely agree with that. But to me, like, oh, natural products, it is a marketing ploy. Like. Every piece of hair that grows out of your follicle is natural. And black women are not the only women on this planet with curly hair. Do y'all understand that the majority of women have curly hair? It's just different levels of curly. Black women have the curliest hair. But most women have curly hair, guys. It's not just you. So as a black woman, you need to put your pride and your divinity and your sovereignty in something else. Because you're not the only one with curly hair. You're just the only one who makes a big deal out of it and wears it as a headband and a badge of honor. But everybody, uh, the majority of women that you see have curly hair, but you wouldn't know because they keep it stretched so that sebum can flow down so that the hair will stay strong and it won't break. How to safely wear natural hair. It makes me wonder how our ancestors maintain their hair is always necessary to blow dry our hair. Who? Oh, God. That's what I mean. Like, y'all are so brainwashed. It's like y'all can't hear anything other than, but blow dryers are bad. And our ancestors didn't use blow dryers. Your ancestors also didn't have YouTube. I'm not being rude. Let's talk about it. For real. Your ancestors didn't have YouTube. Your ancestors didn't have lights. Your ancestors didn't have a toilet to flush like you do. 
your ancestors didn't watch TV. They didn't have the phone or the headphones that you watching and listening to me on. Do you sit in your room and be like, I'm going to find more fun to do. I'm about to turn all of these lights off. Actually, I'm not paying my light bill no more because my ancestors sat in the dark and they used candles. So I'm about to go outside and I'm, I'm about to cut all these light off and get candles. Like, actually, my ancestors ain't living no goddamn house. They ain't pay no rent. I'm about to sell all my shit and I'm about to go live in the forest because I'm about to be one with my ancestors. Why do you why are why do y'all pick and choose when y'all want to be one with y'all ancestors? So it's okay for for our ancestors, for us to learn from them and to progress and to move forward and stop living outside and live inside that's okay it's okay for us to actually have electricity now and not have to light candles and lanterns that's okay right we can do that that's good we still black we i'm not not black because i don't like candles i'm still black even though i pay my energy bill a long time that shit was almost three hundred dollars hey amen mm -hmm. i'm lying I just be, I just, mm -hmm, I just don't like buying for stuff. For real. So, but then when we get to, well, our ancestors didn't use blow dryers, so why are we doing that? What, what? what? Listen, if you are a person, and I ain't talking to you in general, if you are a person that want to do your hair like your ancestors did, then I need you to do everything like they did. Eat like they ate. So don't eat nothing but food that you got to cook outside. Don't eat none of this processed food, none of these processed snacks. Come on, y'all. You don't have to use a blow dryer. There are 50 million other things that you can do. Wash and go sounds lazy. That The name of the style is lazy. Wash and go. I'm going to just wash and go outside. I'm going to just wash it. Co-wash it. Put a bunch of products on it, do my finger coils, get my diffuser, sit up under the dryer. Look, I'm a black girl and my hair is super curly. Look, I'm black and that's how you know I'm black and you only real. I'm a real black girl because there's other black girls. They black, but they not real black girls because they like to wear their hair flat on. Get a freaking grip, not you. Everybody get a grip, bro. Get a grip. Y'all need to find y'all divinity in something else. The shit is old, bro. It's old. Most of the women on this planet have curly hair. You are not special because you have curly hair, bro. You're not. You're not. I'm sorry if that. You're not. Find something else. What, what's in your mind? What does your brain do? What, what, what have you added to this, to this earth that when you're gone, they'll be able to look at that and be like, oh, she did that. Oh, Ashley did that. Oh, Tanya did that. Oh, Arielle did that shit. Oh, Brittany did that. But at this rate, all the fuck that we gonna have to show is that we put rice in our hair like our ancestors did. We ain't gonna create nothing new. Y'all just wanna sit online and argue about stupid shit. Y'all wanna go back and forth like, because uh -huh, our ancestors used to, yeah, and your ancestors used to wipe their ass with leaves, but you don't. You got a bidet, my nigga. So why are we talking about that? Why, why are we having this conversation? It's dumb. And that's why I said everybody that want to, I'm not you, baby. Everybody that want to argue, I'm blocking. This is so dumb. It's dumb. We cannot pick and choose what things that we want to carry on that our ancestors used to do. So we're going to leave everything else alone. And we're going to hold on to the fact that they didn't use blow dryers. That's some stupid shit, man. And I don't care how nobody feel about it. It's dumb. It's dumb. I'm sorry. It, and, and yeah, I get passionate about it because I want better for us. I want better. I want us to stop arguing about dumb stuff. I want us to stop being a laughing stock of every freaking industry. I have, listen, I'm, I'm a, listen, I just don't want to sound too arrogant. I, I'm a boss at what I do. There are doors that I'm able to walk into that I didn't even know existed when I was behind the chair. And when I walk into those doors, they think black women are stupid. 
because they watch the things that y'all argue about and they watch y'all attack each other over scientific facts that you can search and verify for yourself. That's why I make the videos that I make because I want you to think it's dumb. How, how are we in one breath talking about what our ancestors did and you eat nothing like them? You eating double cheeseburgers every day. Most of your ancestors were vegans. And if they wasn't vegan, they was killing their own animals. So if we talking about we can't use blow dryers, then don't go, don't go back, don't go to Walmart and don't buy one bag of chicken. Go outside and kill your own damn chicken. That's what you do. If we can't use blow dryers because our ancestors did use blow dryers, go outside with a gun and kill your own food. But you're not going to do that. Why? Because you've evolved and you found other ways to get food that doesn't require you to go outside and kill animals right there. But we all want to, because our ancestors didn't have blow dryers. It is dumb. You sound, we sound so stupid. We sound stupid. We, at one point, we have to be tired of being the laughing stock of this industry. We look dumb. And it's frustrating. It's frustrating when you when you're trying to constantly help people and, and you want to stay in chains. You are so free that you choose chains. Listen to me. Y'all choose these chains. I'm literally like, here's the key. Turn it. T here's the key. Turn it. Go over there. Make a right. Go over there. There's the treasure. You like, but. But our ancestors didn't use keys. Our ancestors had frisbees. Our ancestors, they didn't use keys. It's like, okay, go that way then. Go that way. But get out of the mentality that everybody is here on this earth to prove to you that you should take, that you should take it. No, I'm that phase of my life is over. I'm no longer trying to prove any anything to anybody or trying to talk anybody into doing anything. I bring the information. If you do not have the mental capacity to sit this shit down and break it down piece by piece on your own, then a hair weathering gonna get you. And then let's talk about it in in about twenty five years, my nigga. Or if you've been doing it for ten years already, let's talk about it in fifteen years. But this is dumb today. It's dumb today, right now. It's dumb. That's good to know because I've been curious about. Stretching the hair and selling the bottom is necessary. And it's not complicated, bro. Like, like so get off of that. You Okay, you scared of the blood? Oh! Don't use it. Use something else. But just hear how dumb it sounds because the same women who are scared of flat irons will go and spend $500 on four bundles of hair that were grown out by a woman who blow dries and flat irons her hair. That's some stupid shit. And I don't care what anybody says. That is dumb. So I'm going to spend $500 on your hair that you grew blow drying and straightening. But blow dryers and flat irons are bad. Even though I just spent $500 on hair that was grown out by one, they're bad. Went back to relaxers, better relief for me. Being natural has too many instructions. But it actually doesn't. Listen, being natural doesn't have too many instructions. Y'all just have been bombarded and obsessed with the team natural community forever being natural is not complicated there is no difference between when my hair is relaxed and when my hair is natural i'm not using different products do you hear me if i was to relax my hair right now i'm still using olaplex i'm still using kimbra i'm still using kimbra's uh, i'm still using kimbra's same leave-in conditioner i'm still using kimbra's same heat protectant and i'm still using kimbra's same serum, serum. So what is the difference between the way that I do my hair, the way that I blow dry and straighten my hair, if it's natural versus the way that I blow dry and straighten it when it's relaxed? It's not a rhetorical question. I need somebody to answer. There is no difference. The only difference is a vanity metric. That's it. 
one is curly when it's wet and the other one is straight and wavy when it's wet. That's the only difference. One has a, a whole bunch of softer to softer linkages. One has all of the softer to softer linkages that it naturally had. And the other one took a couple of the softer to softer linkages out and then neutralized. That was the only difference between relaxed and natural hair. But Team Natural made y'all think that it was something big between the two. There's no difference. And most women who have relaxed hair have hair 10 times healthier than any woman with natural hair. And that is a fact. Yes, roller sets are life. Like, do some roller sets, bro. You are the realest cosmetologist. It's not that. I'm just one that's retired and I don't have to bite my tongue no more. That's all. <laughs> that's all. It's not cheap, but well worth it for my hair. I'll buy it when it's 40% off on the holiday. <laughs> but it's worth it, though, when you find a good product. <laughs> Hi, lovely. How are you? I hope that your first time here with me, like, I'm not mean. I'm just, I just want us out of this shit. You know, so it's been, oh, wait, I'm talking to you. It's been years that everybody been arguing about the same stuff. And I just want us to do better. You know, I just want us to do better, bro. I just want us to do better, bro. Change your diet, bro. Can I blow dry my hair and then sit under dry with rollers? Will it be too much? No, because, okay, that's a really, really good question. And thank you. I like questions like this. Let's do it. Ooh, let's do it. Ooh. So, <clears throat> remember what I said about the hydrogen bond, right? And you going from alpha keratin to beta keratin. So, again, once the hydrogen bond is broken with water, which is when you wash your hair, you're in alpha keratin. Once you blow dry your hair, babe, you in beta. So you can't set a bond that's already set. You can sit under the dryer. Are the curls going to stay? Probably for a minute, they're not going to last. So no, you cannot do that. Once you set the bond, it's set until it's broken again with water. So just do the you just have to do the roller set if you're doing a roller set it has to be a roller set if you're doing a blowout it has to be a blowout now you can do what you should do do the roller set first and then after you get done with your roller set you can blow dry it after you do the roller set but like it would have to be a round brush and you would have to practice doing that all right I don't even remember what I asked y'all to um to, to say five for. Somebody remember, can you tell me what I said? I've been watching your videos today. I've learned a lot as well. Oh, welcome to the family, girl. Oh, I mean, be that loud in y'all. You're welcome to the family, girl. I'm going to attempt to detangle tonight on dry hair like you suggested. Any advice? Yes. Listen, first of all, first of all, girl, ain't nobody just saying nothing about no round brush when you detangling. First of all. When the last time y'all didn't see me use a round brush? Only time I use a round brush is if I'm really trying to get a silky silk press, okay? If you don't know what you're doing, girl, you don't know how to pick up no round brush, okay? So this is exactly what you're going to do. Are you listening? Listen, listen. Do exactly this. Oh, girl, you cute. So tonight, get some oil, but make sure, listen to me, girl. Make sure it is not coconut oil. No freaking coconut oil. Okay, and no, what's that other word? Um, oh my God, I can't get it out. It's gonna come to me in a second. It it'll come to me in a minute. God damn, flaxseed oil, no flaxseed oil, and no coconut oil. Google it on your own. You can use flaxseed oil to finish wood. Like people use flaxseed oil to finish wood. Like when they, like if they natural and they like build their own home outside and stuff, you can finish wood with it. So it should not go on your hair. And then coconut oil is protein seeking. It binds to the cortex of the hair shaft. So don't, don't use that. Okay. But other than that, get you some either almond oil, 
hemp seed oil is my favorite oil to detangle with. It's just my favorite. Or I say almond oil, hemp seed oil, or um, walnut oil. Jojoba oil is good too. Basically, any oil that is a non comedogenic oil, one that doesn't block the follicle. And then do not listen to me. Listen. Do not pour a puddle of oil in your hand and then put that on your hair. No. Feel on your hair. Where is it tangled? Go put the comb in your hair. Go move down slowly. And when you stop, when your when the comb stops, and when I say move it down, I don't mean try to comb it through. I mean just slightly move the comb through your hair looking for a tangle. When you find it, dip your finger in some oil. Rub it on that area, massage it in, and then comb your hair out from the ends up to the root. Not adding more oil as you go, a little bit at a time. Like, just do a little bit at a time, and you will notice that you do not have breakage like that. And then I also want y'all to know, this is something that needs to be done on a regular basis. If you comb your hair on a regular basis, it's not tangled and matted. And if you have braids, obviously, girl, that's not a problem. Like, if you have braids right before you get ready to comb out that individual part, because, you know, after you take braids out, it's still in that same formation. So, same thing, dip your finger in, like, of course, get some on your finger, and then, like, saturate your hair from mid-shaft to end. Mid-shaft means, like, the middle of your hair shaft, not your root, the middle, halfway down your hair shaft. And then uh, work it in, and then detangle like that. It's a done deal. So whenever you hear like when people be like, oh, well, Indian women did oil. Listen, they were not sleeping in oil. They did things like this where they massage their hair shaft with oils and then they let it sit for like 30 minutes and then they shampoo it out with clarifying shampoos. All right. So do the same thing. All right. How that makes sense. You know what? I don't even know what I was talking about. I love that you're living through your hate and mastering your ego. Oh, my. Listen. Oh. This is why you a moderator, because we speak the same language. Oh, my God. Like. That has. I'm, I know I say it all the time, but I'm not saying it like, oh, look, it's scary. Or, oh, be scared of me. But I'm from Detroit. And I. Oh, my God. Like. It has, it's a lot of pros being from there, but one of the main cons is like, you low key be having a chip on your shoulder. Like, you, nigga, what? Like, you just be, oh, Lord. And especially when it's something that you like passionate about, something that you love. So, uh, it's, it's so, it's been hard. I'm just being honest. It's been hard. Like, that's why, like, out of nowhere, y'all like, oh, she posted her old hair videos again because for years I've been like, I'm done. Like, I don't even want to talk about it. I don't want to have these conversations. I don't want to help. I don't want to use it as because it's just people are just so nasty. But I realized that I create my reality and the things that I see are things it's it, people are a reflection so whatever i'm seeing it is something that i'm energy that i'm projecting in some way shape or form and i had to figure out what it was and figure out a different way and when i say a way that i'm projecting not like oh i'm projecting negativity but i've been so used to putting up walls and protecting myself against women so that's naturally i'm like okay and i'm i'm in my mind like preparing to defend myself as soon as i post the video and over this last year i've been on this tip like i don't really give a shit anymore it's no longer my bread and butter like that it's no longer something that i put so much value in i'm out of the broken place that i was in and i really really in 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 all honesty, and it's going to go over some people's head, like a lot of people just moving through life and just making videos, making content just to make it for views. I have a mission and I know exactly why I'm here. And it's not clear to some people right now, but it is extremely clear to me. And if I can't shake this chip, 
if I couldn't shake that chip off of my shoulder and not kill my ego, but become one with it. So I'm not fighting against myself and I'm coexisting with the peaceful side of myself and the chaotic side of myself at one time. Like it took me years to get there because I've been doing hair and having to put on armor for every woman to come in. I'm doing 13 women a day. Most of them are strangers. I don't know what I'm dealing with. So I'm like protection up all day. But I'm not there anymore. I'm not there anymore. Before I felt like I had to prove to people or I had to like, like show people like, see, look, I am not, I am right. But like, look, see, this is right. I'm not just, I'm not there anymore. Take it or leave it. I don't care. I care about the people who want it. I am here for the people that are hungry. If you hungry, I got it. Eat. But if you're not, go keep eating those little boo-boo rice sprinkles from over there. Like, it's nothing. But thank you for seeing me. I appreciate you. In your experience, have you had to do two different conditioners doing one service to get the desired feel for the hair? Solace used two different conditioners because she said hair was resistant in some areas. I've never heard of it, but maybe she did. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, 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 I don't. I don't, I don't know. I, I've never heard of it. That's, that's new to me. That, that's some new shit. That's new because I don't, I don't, oof. the hair only absorbs. Listen, this is okay. I'm going to just say this. And then nobody can get mad at me for saying this because A, I don't know her and B, you can Google this yourself. I'm not making it up. She, if she paid, if you, did you pay her for the second conditioner? Because if you did, she ran your pockets and that's why she did it. She needed a little extra. If she didn't charge you for it, I don't know why the hell she did that. I don't know because the human hair shaft can only absorb 36% of whatever you put on it. So after she put that first product on your head, your hair couldn't absorb anything else. So the second conditioner that she put on your hair just literally sat there. It didn't do anything because your hair couldn't even absorb 100% of the first conditioner that she put on. So the deep conditioner, I'm about to give a shit. It's a deep conditioner. Your hair can only absorb 36% of the first product. So once the first product came off, every product that you put on after that just sat on top of your hair. So she made that up. I don't understand why, but she made that up because it's not true. Your hair can, like, for example, the master stylist. I keep bringing her up. That's because I just did my hair and I got her phone wrap on my head. When you, when you are in a hair salon, right? Like, I'm going to use the master stylist for an assist, uh, for an assistant, for an example, she had her assistant do her client's relaxer and she, I mean, wash the relaxer out. She did the relaxer, her client shampoos, right? I mean, no, her, her assistant shampoos. So when her assistant, when she took her client to the chair, she would tell her assistant, if she's doing color after the relaxer, she tells her assistant, don't put conditioner in her hair. Why? Because she's about to put a color on top of her head that needs to absorb into the hair shaft. If her clock, if her assistant puts the conditioner on her hair, the color will not process. Why? The hair shaft can only absorb 36% of what you put on it. So if you put color on hair after conditioner, the color will not take because the hair shaft has already absorbed the 36%. Do you hear me? She made that shit up as she went. And I really hope you ain't paid for it. You feel me? Not the pickle juice. <laughs> the booty drink method. Yes. The bagging method made my hair itch and smell bad. Yeah, it was because you were literally growing bacteria in a bag. Bag and booty cheeks. 
Your hair smell like stinging pickles with Evers. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad you found the seven day challenge too. And that's what I'm talking about. They, they, the team natural have black women walking around. They think we stink. They like, why do black girls smell like that? Why do all black girls be smelling like pickles? Why do black girls be smelling like pickle juice and ass cheeks? Right for it, it smells like ass. I don't care how cute y'all think y'all gonna be, how long y'all hair gonna be. Y'all so pressed about long hair. Don't you know that nobody care that you got cute long hair if you stink? You think somebody like, oh my God, my hair is so long. I don't even care that she smell like ass. Like nobody's saying that. Everybody's like, her, she funky as hell. Nobody cares about you having long hair. Only person pressed about it is you. You, Shalissa. You. And you know how I know? I've been with my husband for 15 years and I met him with about two, two hair drops of hair on my head. I was wearing a short pixie cut. I couldn't put my hair in a ponytail if my life depended on it when I met my husband. Hmm? Girl, nobody care. But I bet you he wouldn't he wouldn't want to talk to me if I smelled like pickle juice. Hmm? If my hair was all long, but I smelled like pickles, he would be like, she cute, but she smell like fucking pickles. What type of bonnet should we use? One without elastic. Yep, I was there. I had enough hair products to open my own damn store. That's what I'm saying. Every five minutes, y'all buying new products. Because the old one did, didn't work. It's a fad. I this. The reason that I haven't went live on Amazon is because I wanted to wait until I had more new people here so I so y'all could see it for the first time because after we do the first live on Amazon, the products are not going to change. They're all going to be the same. And if y'all want to use new stuff, then go ahead. That's why if anybody comes in here and be like, see, what do you think about this product? What do you think about this? I don't think anything. I couldn't tell you nothing about nothing. Oil is like crack because it took a while. Mm -hmm. It's like crack. It's like, oh, my God. You probably be laying in the in the bed in the middle of the night. What's that crunching? Need some oil. Will you please advise which one of your videos discuss washing and blow drying and styling? Well, I discussed that in the seven-day challenge. So that's a really good question, and I hope people don't take offense to this, but... Over the last 12 years, Team Natural, literally, they haven't created anything new, right? What they do is professional cosmetologists like myself put out videos like the one that you're talking about. And then they take it, piece it apart, add a bunch of stupid stuff to it. And then it's some viral fad. And the thing that I put out there ends up turning into something sadistic that I hate. And I'm not doing that again. So if you want my patterns, my routines, and all of my styling, all of that, seven-day challenge. You can sign up through the link in the description box. It's not there right now, but if you go to any other video, any other video, any other live, it is in the description box there. You can either pay the $100 right up front, or you can break it down into four payments. So it's up to you. Um, if you, if you decide that you want to break it up, into four payments, then what you do, you add the seven day challenge to your cart. And then once you add it to your cart, you go to put your credit card information in, but don't put your credit card information in, slide down right under where you put your card information in, and then click on the button that says sizzle. And through sizzle, you can finance it. All right. Hey, beautiful. You're so pretty. Hi, boo. I love her. She got every T in my apothecary. I love you, boo. And I, I think I'm packing. It's either your order or one that's just like a name, just like yours. And all, all the rest of the orders are going out tomorrow. So if you guys order anything before, before 12 noon tomorrow, y'all orders is going out before my designated ship is out.
I'm here for a routine. Seven day challenge. I break down the in my seven day challenge. I break down the routine from you cleansing your scalp, from you breaking a little breaking, from you curing follicle infections, whatever you may have. Like everything that you need to do is broken down step by step with actionable actionable steps in my seven day challenge. So if you want a detailed breakdown step by step, it's in my seven day challenge. So it's never worked for my hair. I always look like <laughs> your teas and soaps. Oh, thank you. You are so right about how we should be putting so many hairstyles on her head. I did a big chop and I'm starting over because of all of these hairdos. But y'all promise me something. Will y'all promise me that y'all will never do another big chop again? Stop cutting your hair off. Stop. And let me explain. Put my phone on charge. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. If the reason that everybody feels like they got to cut all their hair off if a curl pattern changes or anything, y'all... If I need you constantly buying hair growth products, I'm going to make you feel like if your hair doesn't look a certain way or if your curls don't look a certain way, then it's damaged and you got to cut it all off and start all over again. And if you cutting it all off and starting all over again, guess what you're doing? You're going and buying a whole bunch of products. You're going and buying a whole bunch of hair growth aids because you're trying to start it over. Stop doing big chops. The only time you do a big chop is if your ends are broken from the ends up to the roots. If your ends are not broken to the root, there is no reason for you to do a big chop. You could get a layered bob. That's what I used to do. Like people will come like, oh, saying I'm a big chop. I'm like, no, you're not. Most of the videos where people be like, oh, you cut too much hair. They, you, they came in for big chops. I never did it, ever. I always talk women out of doing big chops every time. I've never did it. <laughs> it needed protection from you. I just washed my hair today and it's twisted. Doing differently next wash day, please do. I agree. I'm a lazy natural twisting my hair for years. Thank listen, thank you for your honesty. Let's stop acting like we do twist outs because it's such a great style. No, it's not. It's because it's easy. I don't have to have no accountability about it. I don't have to do nothing complicated. And if somebody say I'm dusty, I can tell them that they messed up because I'm black and my hair is curly and I got the right to wear my hair however I want to wear it, even if it looks stupid as hell, because I'm black. And black girls have a hard time doing their hair. So this is what I need to do. You sound, not you, it sounds stupid. And we need to stop. It is not, a, it is an excuse. It is an excuse to be lazy. And I'm sorry, my perspective comes from a person who was in the industry for 10 years, over 10 years, well over 10 years, and would have clients come and sit in my chair and for me to take a weave out that they have had in their head for six, seven months. And that wasn't just one or two people. It was almost the majority of the people who booked tech dials to the point I had to make a policy that said, if your hair has been in longer than three months, I'm not taking it down. I didn't even say it's going to be extra because it don't got nothing to do with the money. I'm not touching that funky shit, man. The majority of women were like that. The majority of women think that a hairstylist is, is like, like a hair maid. No. Oh, I love you. Thank you. Washing goals is a setup. <laughs> yep, I put a little fro in pure for a few days. When I finally washed it, it was so tangled with those knots everywhere. Yeah, I lost hair never again. Blow dry. Listen, th that's what I'm talking about. Single strand knots are not normal. There's a certain group of women that get single strand knots. And those are women who wear natural hair. It, it, period. You've never heard a bunch of women wear relaxers like single strand knots. And if they do, they are women who wear relaxers who don't take care of their hair at all. Single strand knots is a team natural thing. And it's not called single strand knots. It's called trichinidosis is what it's called. And it is a hair shaft disorder. It's a form of splitting ends. 
that you get when you do Team Natural stuff. I just answered that. No, it was not a thing. It was a hair shab disorder, but it was a very, it wasn't a common hair shab disorder. Single strand knots were tricking the doses. Look, I'm about to show you. Y'all think, oh, man, I ain't playing, dog. Hold on. I think people be thinking I'm making shit up. I'm not making this shit up. Look, hold on. Here we go. Which one looks like single strand knots to you? That knot right there, trichinidosis, is what it's called. These are a bunch of different hair shaft disorders. Let me take this comment off. These are a bunch of different hair shaft disorders. Single strand knots is one. And YouTubers made that name up. That's not what it's called. It's called trichinidosis is what it is called. Single strand knots, like you guys like to call it, is a form of split ends. It is a hair shaft disorder. If you have single strand knots, my love, you have a hair shaft disorder caused by mechanical damage from twist outs, wash and goes. Listen, only a certain group of women have trichinidosis. It is not a very common hair shaft disorder. It is now. It is extremely common in the natural community. And they'd be like, want to get rid of your single strand knots? Use this conditioner. It's bullshit. It's a money grab. You can't cure trichinidosis with no conditioner. What you talking about? You Trichinidosis, none of these hair shaft disorders have a cure. You have to cut it off where it's damaged or it's going to keep splitting up the hair shaft. What are you talking about? But see, guess what? Y your favorite YouTuber wouldn't know this because they didn't go to school. They've just been playing. I could do a video on every last hair shaft disorder. I've actually done a video on three of them so far. If y'all want me to do a video on each one of these hair shaft disorders, give me a five in the chat and I will real quick. Give me a five in the chat and I'll break it down. But single strand knots is trichinidosis. Okay. It's not. <laughs> so it, it was something that was known. There were other races, of course, that get a form get split ends and it turns into trichinidosis after certain practices that resemble team natural like any woman any woman from any race can get trichinidosis if she wears her hair wet all the time if she doesn't allow the bonds to set if she combs her hair wet if she de I'm sorry if she detangles her hair wet all of these things cause trichinidosis like nobody's making it up that's why I said I'm blocking people that want to argue. I'm not arguing with people who can't like tell name, make me a video or give me, tell me what causes every hair shaft disorder that you see on the screen and name the ones at the bottom that don't have a name. And then I'll have a conversation with you about whether or not the things that are coming out of my mouth is valid. But until that happens, I'm not, I'm not going back and forth with nobody. I'm not going back and forth with nobody that caused trichinidosis, single strand knots. Because most people don't, if you don't know the scientific name of it, I'm not having no conversation with you about what, what causes it and what stops it when you don't even know the scientific name for it. That's crazy. That makes me crazy. All them girls gone, just like Curly Cuts. Exactly. Yes, girl. Shama la 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 la. Shama la. <laughs> I bought the Book of Herbs because of you. But I don't even know where to start. Listen, you got to start at the first page. Reading a herbal book is like reading a regular book. Start at page one. Learn the history of herbs all together from the point where it starts. And read it like you read in a big book from page to page. And when you have a notebook next to you the whole time and just read it. Take notes of the different diseases and the different stuff that it heals. Take notes. Be in school. That book is school. You, you got to sit down and really dive deep into it. Like that book is one that for me to get through it, for one, it took me about a year to get through it. I'm not about to play because I wasn't just reading. I was applying and do, you know what I mean? So when you get that book, when you get that book, make sure that as you on one page, like make it a study thing for you. 
So make it page by page. Do two, three pages a day or however many pages you can do. You told me in the seven day challenge. What I tell you in the seven day challenge, I missed it. It was a while ago. I watch weekly. If I'm feeling tingling or scratching, it means it's time to watch. Yes. So I stay on my weekly schedule. Yes. Protein if I'm seeing breakage and I'll do oil treatment. Listen, do, stop doing <laughs> Stop putting protein in your hair. First of all, what is your porosity? Second of all, regardless of your porosity, if you're using protein and your your hair is not damaged, you are going to cause breakage. You do not need protein. I'm not yelling at you. That's another team natural thing. To sell you products, everybody think they need. Listen, I have not. You do not need protein. The only time you need protein is if your hair is damaged. Protein strengthens the cuticle. If your cuticle is not weak and you're strengthening it, you're going to cause breakage. The only thing that protein treatments do is strengthen the cuticle. If the cuticle is already strong and you put something to make it stronger on it, you're going to make it break. It's nothing to strengthen it. If your hair is not damaged and you use a protein treatment, you're going to damage your hair. Stop doing protein treatments. When you do, when you see breakage, cut the ends off. A protein treatment isn't going to help you form your ends from breakage. If you see breakage and you use a protein, it's not going to form the, the split end back up. It's going to make it break further. It's not going to. OK, like, come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. <laughs> don't forget to hit the like button. Yes, I love you. But, boo, don't stop using protein. I love you so much. Stop using protein. Stop using protein. So many women have curly hair. So many have blah, blah, blah. so many women have curly hair and straighten it. The majority of women that y'all see have curly hair. Like most Mex not most Mexican women have curly ass hair. Like you wanna know who has the straightest hair? Asian women. Asian women have the straightest hair. White women do not all have white women do not have the straightest hair. Some old women do not have straight hair. Like, the, what are we talking about? Black women are not the only people with straight hair. There are so many different races that have curly hair. We just have the curliest, but also the shortest because we think we're the only one with curly hair. We like, we have to look at us. We have curls. We're black. It's like, do y'all like? Do y'all realize the other women are looking at y'all like, okay, I guess she want a cookie for having curls. I have some too. Can you hand me the um fucking uh blow dryer and the flat iron and my heat protectant spray? Oh my god, thank you. Bye. Meanwhile, y'all like, uh, uh nope. And then every time somebody of another race tries to help and say, hey y'all, don't do that, do this. You like, you don't know. Because we black. And you so they just be like, okay, shit, we'll stay with no hair. I don't give a shit. Okay, bye. This has been so, so enjoyable. Oh, I love you. I do. It's filled with love. I'm not being mean. <laughs> okay. I tried the wash and go, clearly did it wrong. Girl, they here look like a mop too. And so they, the video was 30 minutes for you. It took them about, about three days to record it. So we just got lazy and let Hollywood play us out of our own crown. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My old office place had a gym in the building every morning. The sermon of white women were straightening their, yeah, their curly hair after working out alongside of me. Listen, listen, uh, y'all, I worked at studio salons and, and sold the salons my entire career. I was surrounded by women of other races. None of them had naturally straight hair. 
And the only one that had a perm was the esthetician that was down the street, down the street, down the hall. And she was an Asian woman and she wore her hair real short and she wanted a perm to make to make it curly. Every other woman there had curly hair naturally, not perms, naturally curly hair. But then you hear black women walk down the hair because I'm curls and my curls are my world. And only black women have curly hair. Oh, we can't do that because our hair curly. Oh, flat irons are bad. Like it's, oh my God, we've been sounding dumb for so many years. I've never seen so many lace whiz. I'm scared of what these young girls look like. But the thing is, they just wear it wrong because everybody wears them. Every race wears them. Everybody wears them. I'm going to do a video coming really soon. And I'm going to just have a video like where I'm doing a voiceover on top of a bunch of different videos of women from other races wearing wigs the same like we do. They use got to be glue spray or lace glue. Everything's exactly the same. The reason that y'all don't know is because them shaming each other for wearing wigs is not viral like it is for us. Black women get views shaming each other for wearing wigs and extensions. Black women make full channels about how they don't wear wigs or weaves or extensions. You don't see that over there. They all wear weaves and extensions, all of them, all of them. I used to do weaves and extensions on women from other races. We're the only ones who shame each other for wearing extensions. And the reason that y'all don't know about it is because you're not thinking about it because neither are they. When one of them walk in with extensions, they'd be like, oh my God, girlfriend, yes, bitch, yes, yes. Oh my God. We'd be like, you don't love yourself. See, I don't wear weaves. This my real hair. This my natural hair. You sound like an insecure woman. This my real hair. This my natural hair. This coming out my scalp. This my real hair. Exactly. I'm like so many folks getting alopecia. One girl I work with says she has a perm spot due to her hair being pulled back and braised up. A permanent spot. I've only ever had a relaxer in color, never did a weave. But see, a relaxer in color, you know, that's it's good as long as it's done right. Anything done wrong is gonna break your hair off. Having my braid snatch out has always been a fear. Man, what there? That's not <laughs> Seeing you're just passionate and love us enough to tell us the truth. Thanks, sis. It's my pleasure. I love you guys. I really do. And when you love somebody, like, it make you mad when you see them just effing they self over. Like, that's what, that's what make me frustrated is because, like, my, like, you're doing it to yourself. Just stop. Like, hair care doesn't, your wash day should not take you three hours. Listen to me, and after a couple of weeks, I can have that shit down to 25 minutes. What are we doing? Or an hour, depending on what you're doing. Like, oh, my God. I can have you saving all your guap. What you talking about? Listen to me, and instead of you buying, instead of you spending all of that damn money every, every a couple of times a month, every two weeks you buy new products because you listening to them and using all of that, Stop that and buy products once every three months because that's what you're supposed to do. But what the brands have made money, what they had made the billions of dollars that they made off of y'all, if y'all was only buying products once every three months like y'all was supposed to, no. They had to get y'all listening to people that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. That's getting y'all to buy all of these products every week because you use a half the bottle for one shampoo, for one uh, deep conditioner treatment. Y'all think that conditioner is a styling product. A conditioner has no other purpose than to be put in the hair, set there for a second, put a cap on it. Most of it, most of it is supposed to do. You're supposed to put a plastic cap on and sit on a dryer for a minute and rinse that shit out with cold water. That's all it's supposed to do. A conditioner is not responsible for removing tangles off your hair. That's not what it's used for. That's why y'all got all that hair in the brush. That's not fucking normal. That's not normal at all. 
The only time you should have a handful of hair in your brush when you get done combing your hair is if you just took some braids out that's been in your hair for months. If you didn't just take no braids out that's been in your hair for months, and you you just comb in your hair once a week and you got globs of hair in your hand, you are breaking it off. Plaxies, yes. Amazing in smoothies. That's how I use it. Oh, thank goodness. I'm using castor oil to take out my twist. Yes, perfect. Castor oil is perfect. Yep, castor oil is perfect. Just keep it off the scalp. Remember, mid shaft to ends. Mid shaft to halfway down and boom, shakala boom. Wait, I don't think I missed your beginning of your coming. How to get the crown to grow with. Now, I have to make a full video on that, babe. I can't just answer that right here. I've been putting jojoba oil on my own, but it was on my mother's hair before. If your scalp hurts, you need to stop playing oil on your scalp, babe. Yes. That's what I'm saying. Like, just stop putting oils and butters in your hair, please. I'm begging you. Just stop. It's not. And I know it's something that's hard to grasp because, for, like, 12, 13 years is a long time to have something in your face every time you turn on the computer. I get it. But it's wrong, y'all. It's wrong. Why y'all think so many people got seborrheic dermatitis and different forms of dermatitis and scalp infections at the same time? And this is my journey to who we are. Oh, excuse me. Oh my God, I'm burping. Oh my God. My journey to we are all cancers. This formal is for us. I'm about to be released in this industry. Listen, and look, I'm a look, I'm a cancer sun and a moon and a Gemini rising. So listen, cancer season is my season. I'm in rare form. You hear me? I mean, not cancer season, but cancer form. Listen, girl, play with your mama today, not me, okay? Yes, and I'm... I'm soft on the inside, but soft is good. Like, it's good. I love you. And I'm so sick of y'all looking stupid. We are not dumb. I'm sick of telling people that we not dumb. My sister not stupid. She not stupid. She just a little slow right now. She not stupid. She just a little slow. Like, I'm sick of defending y'all. I want to I wanna walk in the room and be like, y'all, like, we did that shit. Y'all got that from us. But I can't do that now. Oh, my God. I had the itchy, the burning, and sore scalp. It was temporary dermatitis, and I kept feeding it with oil because our people think that oil <laughs> and damn ginger ale fixes it. <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny because it's so true. Y'all really do think that oil and ginger ale fixes you. Y'all stop it, girl, go get some ginger ale. Y'all go and go get some oil. It's, oh my God. Like, come on. I think when you post your old suppressed videos and do voiceovers to show us the damage is effectively showing us what you're trying to say about our hair weathering and 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 that's why I'm I'm gonna keep making them a because I have thousands of them so we can well not thousands I got like pushing two thousand video pushing two thousand videos suppressed videos so we can do it all day but that's why I'm doing it but. I am going to have some like talking head videos so y'all can see me and stuff, you know, mixing it up, you know what I mean? But that's why I'm doing those, not trying to like, oh, I'm doing silk presses again. No, I just want to show y'all like what I've been saying this whole time. Like I'm not just randomly like trying to attack people and stuff. Like if if they talking dumb shit, they just talking dumb shit. It ain't my fault they been teaching stupid shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Our hair don't soak up all the conditioner. Exactly. Exactly. Stan, have you seen that video where it may have been the TikTok or stylists are going back to nine to fives because they're losing clients? I was thinking about you and what you've been telling us. I, 
I mean, I've seen that, but the thing is, I don't, the way that people say like, oh, they're going back to their nine to five, like it's like, oh, I'm going back to my nine to five because I failed. It's not that I failed or not I failed, or it's not that they failed. I think people just get tired and fed up. Okay, don't get mad at me when I, not you, I know you're not going to get mad at me, but anybody who listens to this on replay, I'm just using this as an example. I'm not saying it's okay. I don't like the shit either. But it's just like a black dude that's like, I'm not messing with I'm not messing with black women no more. Like I'm done. It's too much of a hassle for me. That's what they're doing. Because at the end of the day, most black women look at it as a personal relationship between them and they silence. This is not a fucking personal relationship. This is my job. The same way that you separate your personal life, not you, babe, this is aggression, not towards you. Like the same way that you separate your personal life and your uh, from your job, a hairstylist does the same thing. But with hair, the reason that I quit doing hair, I kept taking it home. Like it is exhausting. It is it is literally the most draining thing you could ever do. And I don't know why I'm about to start on my period. And it's a cancer full movement. I'm about to cry. But like when I say I love doing hair so much, like like the art form of it, oh my God. Like this is about to sound disrespectful. If I could take, if I can make you take your brain and your voice box at the door and sit it there with your purse, and then you sit down, I will I will do hair again. But I refuse to step outside of peace because I'm going to tell y'all what happened. COVID happened. And when when women who have been in the hair salon and they spending, we we spending, when I was standing behind the chair, I did hair Tuesday through Saturday before I started taking Thursdays off. Before I started taking Thursdays off, my only days off was Monday and Sunday. But from nine o'clock in the morning, well, six o'clock in the morning to about 10, 11 o'clock at night, I'm doing hair. I don't have no time for myself. If I want to, you know how you get a lunch break at work, you automatically get a lunch break. I don't get a lunch break. If I want to stop and eat, it may throw my schedule off. And then you're going to write reviews about me saying that I'm unprofessional and stuff like that. Or Let's say, let's say I don't take a lunch at all, but let's say somebody else is late and I let them come anyway, it's going to throw my schedule back and then you're going to blame me. But then if I don't let somebody come in early, if I don't fit somebody in, then I'm rude and I'm nasty. And then moreover, the same women that come in in here on YouTube and argue and go back and forth on on the videos. And the same women who were in my rice water videos talking crap, the same women who are arguing in these blogs and calling each other bitches and hoes are the same women booking hair appointments. Hairstylists are like, I rather do anything. I like it's so many of y'all. I love y'all so much. And I I I really, really do love doing hair. But like the thought of the thought of booking an appointment and and meeting a new person and doing their hair literally like gives me anxiety right now. Like just thinking about it. And excuse me. And when COVID happened, COVID went on, we was on lockdown for a year. So for a year, cosmetologists experienced peace for the first time. Listen to me. When I first got my cosm, I got my cosmetology license when I was 19. And I didn't stop doing hair until I was almost 30 years old. So that means from the time I was 19 to the time that I was almost 30 years old, I'm spending every waking day, Tuesday through Saturday, my day consists of of doing women's hair. And guess what? When I'm not working, you calling me all hours of the night. You texting me all hours of the day. Can I get fit in? I'm getting woken up in the middle of the night. So I got to put all of these policies and procedures up. People booking appointments, not showing up. I got my booth rent, peep game. You do not do hair for free. If you go to a woman that's at a studio salon, if she had a studio salon, a Phoenix salon, a Sola, oh baby, if she had a Sola, my booth rent was $360 a week. Do you hear me? Not a month, a week. Multiply 360 times four. That's how much money I paid every month 
to be in that room. That don't count. I had to get all of my towels myself. I had to wash all of my own towels. Had to get all of my own shampoos and conditioner. Everything that you see when you walk in that room, I bought. Every product that I use, I have to buy. Every product that I use, I have to restock. Why would I do that? <laughs> if I'm going to go through all of that, there has to be a reward at the end of the day. What is my reward? The only reward that a cosmetologist gets from that chaos is money. That's it. This is about to sound so messed up. At the end of the day, the thing that would get me through my day, my husband would pick me up from work because I don't drive. My husband would pick me up from work and I would count my money in the car. That's how I got peace. It's, it probably sounds messed up. I would be count 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 stack, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 stack, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 stack. And I would just keep counting. And, and the closer I got, to 2000 or 5000 or whatever it was for that day the happier i would get and the stress would fade away but when the money is no longer the goal when i have another way for me to make money why would i stay in this chaos where i can go somewhere else where the end goal is the money i can go somewhere else where i have the money without the stress and that's why I use black dudes saying that they don't want to mess with black girls no more as the as an example, not saying that, like I said, not saying that it's okay, but it's literally the same concept. It's like, why? I'm, you don't want me. Y'all don't want actual cosmetologists. And I listen, if you are OG to my channel, you remember, but like five or six years ago, I'm going to put a video clip up. I'm going I'm to uh, repost it one of these days. I made a, it was 2023. So it was 2022. And I made a prediction that by 2024, everybody would be losing their shit because most cosmetologists would be leaving the industry like I did. I didn't, I didn't quit the uh the hair industry to go back to a regular nine to five. Baby, I don't got no nine to five. I'm still a cosmetologist. Still. I just don't throw my pearls away. I I just, I'm just not I'm just not bookable. Not like that. I had two one on one consultations today. I'm bookable like that, but in person, uh, uh, allowing people to to uh, experience my energy in person, allowing people to touch me and and take energy from me in person, it's done. I'm I'm done with that. Done. So I don't think that they leave in the industry like, oh, if the industry we losing and that's the way that everybody is trying to paint it on social media. Like, oh, hairstylists are going back to their regular nine to fives. No, 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 no. Not that. We're not going back to our regular nine to fives. Like we so depressed. We were like, I love doing hair so much. I thought I could do this for the rest of my life, but it has turned into something else. And I no longer want to be a part of it. So y'all know, watch, mock my words. By the end of next year, the majority of the people that y'all got, because it's already like that now, the majority of people that y'all got are not going to have licenses. In 2021, y'all was like, you don't need no license. You don't need no cosmetology license to do hair. So now guess what? All of the people with cosmetology license are like, okay, bye, y'all. Bye. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. See you later, y'all. That's all that happened. <laughs> I love y'all, y'all. Oh, you ordered some stuff today? Listen, oh, stuff is on the way, baby. You're right. They say they want hair care, but give up after a week. Braids be in there for months. No shampoo, just looking and scratching. Listen, and then you're not going to do your hair at all. You just going to look for a product that make it so you don't have to wash it. So you're not actually going to wash your hair or take it down. You just want a product that you can put on your hair that's going to cleanse your scalp so you don't have to manually do it. I love, I'm biggie, biggie, biggie back, y'all. I used to use sugary root in my coffee, but I approached it in my room too. Oh, you're going to love it. I love it so much. When I transitioned the first time, I never big chopped. When I did the second time, my hair was already short. I'm on the third time, last time. Okay, boo, just don't do it again because you don't need to. Yes, I sure can, baby. We ship. We got international shipping now, baby, all over the world. We can ship everywhere. Listen, wherever you at, 
go to the site, put it, put that junk in real quick. Boom, sugar la boom, bam. Baby, I got you, baby. <laughs> I remember getting a few knots, and it was when I didn't get my hair. Yep. Yeah, boom. And the thing is, mistakes happen. Things happen, but when you know the science of hair and not fads, you can fix it real quick without running to the beauty supply store. You'll have everything in your house that you need to fix it because a product doesn't fix anything. Your habits do. So you'll save money because you'll understand that there's nothing that you can buy that can fix your hair. You have to do it. Using a little bit of oil to detangle is making it so much easier. Yes, they... I love you. Thank you for being in here detangling your hair with oil while I'm telling you guys that you can do it with oil. Oh my God, using a little bit of oil to detangle is making it so much easier. I'm using a fine tooth comb and barely having the hairs come out to take down my twist. Listen, listen. Now, don't use a small tooth comb. Use one, like don't use a, a super wide tooth comb, but don't use a rat tail either. You need to use one right in the middle with br bristles that are like a little looser and try to use your fingers to take out the braids. All right. Even though it's a little bit, you can possibly get away with not having any breakage. So other than like with, with no breakage whatsoever. And the only hair that you'll see coming out is the hair that needed to shed. So try just a, a, a not a wide tooth comb because that's too wide, but like try to take it out with your fingers and then comb through with like a like a paddle brush or something like that or like a bent brush say that word oh tricking the dust is tricking the dust is tricking the dust is yeah girl listen i had to practice saying it a bunch of times before so i'm early and i must drive by sitting under dryer is that okay yeah beautiful of course yes so try this get um try flexi rides try um yeah, do do flexi rides, roller sets, perm ride sets, literally anything that is like a roller set. Like it's styrofoam rollers. I'm gonna do a video because you can sit under the dryer. You don't have to blow dry. You don't have to. Can you explain the science behind the hair? I watched one of your videos and you mentioned this, but I missed some of it. Explain what science behind the hair. It's so much science behind hair. I'm I got 3 million videos. I got 3,700,011 videos on my channel, boo. Sharon Harvey. Like, I got 365 million videos. You just got to go look through all of them, boo, and see which one you want. I got all different flavors. Damn, see, I really appreciate you. I appreciate you too, boo. I always wonder that about white women. You answer so many of my questions. And this is the thing. I hope nobody take this the wrong way. Like I said, I've been doing, I've been living in Vegas since I moved to Vegas when I was 16, but I was going back and forth in to Detroit until I met my husband when I was 19. And then we moved here and we've been here together in Vegas ever since. So the majority of people that I have spent my time around are not black. Actually, the only black female friends that I've had have not been full black. One was black and asian and one is black well both of them black and asian but different types okay so i was around their mothers seeing their hair naturally curly um one of my one of one that i really close to nicole hi baby nicole's hair is not straight is wavy like right before curly not full curls but right before we could scrunch it i used to help her scrunch it there's like you name a race I've been around them. I, when I moved to Vegas I learned races that I didn't know existed I swear like I know it sounds ignorant but being from Detroit Michigan at 15 all I knew was black and light skin and white that's it I didn't really and I mean I know new other races existed but I didn't know I didn't have relationships with them and had never seen anybody in person so when I say black women are not the only women with curly hair, I'm not saying it like, look online and comparing them. Like, no, most of my friends were not black and they all had curly hair and none of them had chemically treated hair. When do you know it's time to why I should say when you feel like you don't have no hair? So I would say, I would say no more. Okay. 
it depends on how you wear your hair. So if you have a weave in, obviously you can't wash your hair every week. So if you have a weave in, you're not washing your hair, but you're cleansing your scalp, right? But if you have your hair out, then what you're going to be doing is, I always say every two weeks, but most of the time when my hair is out, I have to wash it every week because my hair is so oily. But I would say like just every two weeks to be safe if it's out. Other races of women always ask if it's all our hair. They think we can't have long hair either. They think we can't have long hair because we think we can't have long hair. And they think we ha can't have long hair because everybody been walking around with their Felicia ponytails, like with the little fangirl ponytails. Every, like you, you can't get mad at them for thinking we don't grow long hair when, like, I don't know. Okay. My mom went to high school in the 80s. She did her own relaxers and color. The only thing is she would do roller sets. Her hair was wasteless. Her routine was simple. That's what I'm saying. Like, oh my God. Like relaxers are bad, but our grandmas, like it, it's it's so dumb because we be like, our ancestors ain't use blow dryers. So just fuck your grandma and your aunties and your great grandma, because they all use blow dryers. So were they stupid? Because they were using blow dryers and doing roller sets and they had a mop and none of them were just washing their hair and going outside and sitting under a dryer. I decided to listen to Team Natural. I got a scalp infection and now here I am. I had to learn the hard way. Yep. And that's that's the that's the unfortunate thing because we be you you will go through that and you watch the right way. You watched your mama do it the right way, but still went to the complete and total opposite of what she did and then called everything that she did the wrong way. Because forget what our ancestors was doing in the 80s. Forget what they were doing in the 70s. Forget what they were doing in the 30s. Let's go back to the fucking, let's go back to slavery. Because that's when we start greasing our scalp to protect our scalp from the sun. They were not greasing their scalps because it was healthy. They were greasing their scalps because they were picking cotton all day in the field. And they were sitting up under the sun. They were protecting their scalps from radiation from the sun, from environmental damage from the sun. Because they were slaves working in the cotton field. That is where grease in the scalp comes from. Our ancestors were not greasing their scalp because it helps hair grow. They were greasing the scalp because it protects the scalp from and the hair shaft from the sun when they picking fucking cotton. It's ignorant for us to constantly be going back to, oh, our ancestors did this and not acknowledge the reasons behind the re why they were doing what they were doing. They were not greasing their scalp because it makes hair grow. I don't care what none of y'all talking about. They were not. Not to mention when your grandma and your mama was greasing your scalp, you know what other shampoo she used? VO5. I bet money most of y'all mamas use VO5. You know why? VO5 will strip the shit out of your hair and your scalp. So it was okay if they put that on your scalp or on your hair because they were going to strip your hair with VO5. Stop playing with me. That's what I'm talking about. They they get bits and pieces of truth and then pack it together. And you you that if you're a person who already doesn't know anything, if you haven't done the studying, if you don't know who you are, if you don't know how stuff go, then you just gonna fall for everything. You're gonna be like, yeah, because that kind of sounds like what my grandma used to do. Cause they take bits and pieces of it. They 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 told you, oh yeah, they've been greasing the scalp, but didn't mention that the only reason they was greasing is because they were picking fucking cotton in the sun. You got it from your grandma. Your grandma got it from her grandma. Her grandma got it from her grandma. Her grandma got it from her grandma. And she was a slave. What are we talking about? It's dumb. My cosmetologist said she left because she was tired. At the time, I didn't understand. But listening to you, I understand. I apologize to her when I heard your story like a year and a half ago. Like one and a half years ago. Listen, 
Thank you. That like low key made me teary. I bet money you made her cry. If she ain't cry when y'all was on the phone, she cried when y'all hung up. Cause I can be transparent and say, I'm not about to cry. I was just drinking something. Leaving the hair industry was one of the most heartbreaking things that I've ever experienced. Because when I came into the hair industry, I told myself that I was going to be one of those women that was like 90. Like, come on, girl, get your pregnant girl, girl. I, that's what I told myself. But then when I got in it, I said, I can't keep giving all of myself to these women. They do not deserve me. I can't. I'm tired. I'm literally word for word. Like, so nobody, we're not leaving because we're, we're not leaving because, oh, we getting ran out. Ran out by who? Like, ran out by who? Make, make it make sense. No, we are. When we were in COVID, in COVID, just like the majority of other people saw, like, I, this is, I don't have to do this shit. I can start my own business. Cosmetologists are hustlers. Do you understand? Especially, especially if, if they pay booth rent, you ain't never met a doper hustler than a cosmetologist. Do you understand me? You ain't never met a doper hustler more, like a, a hustler better than a cosmetologist that pay booth three. And I'm gonna tell you why. I, fresh out of cosmetology school, I was paying $280 a week on booth rent. I barely had enough clients to make that happen. But my parents have never paid my booth rent ever. My husband never had to pay my booth rent ever. Was I taking money out the house to pay it? Yeah, but I ain't never, it will never be a time where I won't win. There will never be a time where I won't eat. Because when you are a, a licensed cosmetologist and you are on commission, it is literally the biggest, no, I don't want to use the word hustle, but if there is not a client in your chair, you still got to pay booth rent. I don't care if everybody canceled on me, which it happened. I had a, weeks where everybody canceled. I still got that 280. I still got it. I wasn't down down no pose or shaking nothing or nothing like that. But I would do a special, do a deal, set something. I made that 280 every single time. If a cosmetologist is walking away from the industry, she cannot take anymore. She is done. It, is she not being ran out? You can't run out no cosmetologist. You can't run out nobody who, who been paying more than most people pay for their rent. To work in a studio, you can't run me out. I left because when I was in COVID, I saw my worth. It, even before COVID, because I left before COVID. When I left, I saw my worth and I knew what I could do. And I knew that I knew that I was bigger than having to stand up and argue with some woman who can't even spell trichinidosis about what split ends are. I'm not doing that. I quit. Find somebody else to do it. And I'm not being cocky, but I I haven't met one of my clients yet who's found somebody who, who's been able to replace me. Most of my clients still, one of my clients leaves and goes to California every two weeks, every three weeks to get her hair done because she can't find anybody else in Vegas. Like, yeah. Yeah, the energy it takes to be a stylist isn't worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. And and the women that's paying y'all five, charging y'all five hundred dollars for basic shit, those are women who are unintegral. I, I bet money they don't have fucking licenses. Bet money. They just in it for the bread. They saw how much money we could get. They just in it for the bread. You hear me? Yeah. Listen, when when I have an assistant, when I have an assistant, that's her fucking job. What you mean? I keep bringing her up because her day, I, I like the her 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 main mid foam is literally right in front of me. Like the master stylist pays her her assistant. Her assistant's there all day. Her assistant not there for fun. She got bills and shit too. What you mean? No, they're not. 
I cut out all them knots when they got silk pressed. So many knots. I literally went through her hair for a whole two weeks. Yep. Listen. <laughs> I am going to, but one day I am going to do a meet and greet though, but I have to figure out a way to make sure it's only the people that I like because I don't, I can't say I'm going to be punching people because then if something happened, it's premeditated. So <laughs> hypothetical situation, Mr. YouTube. <laughs> but I just don't, I don't, I, I, I just, listen, everything I do, how will treatment, I've developed a lot of danger of how do I combat it? <sighs> the reason that you have danger when you do a hot oil treatment is because oil is not supposed to go on your scalp. You throw in your natural hair growth cycle off. Your scalp produces sebum. When you put oil in it, you feed the bacteria that is already living in your follicle and then your follicle overproduces sebum, throwing off your, your skin cell turnover cycle. So instead of your skin cell turnover cycle happening every 28 days, it's happening every seven days. Stop putting oil on your scalp and it'll stop. I learned when you said slaves, you are 100. They used animal. Yeah, my nigga. Ugh. Ooh, y'all get on my nerves. Like, not you. It's like, ooh, why do we got to keep having these ancestors. Your ancestors use chicken grease to protect their scalp from the sun because they were slaves, nigga. Let my people like nigga. No, that was Moses. You know what I'm saying? Wait in the water. Like, damn it. That oh. I love your live videos. It's 2 a.m. in the UK now. I should be sleeping, but I'm here. Oh, it's 2 in the morning. Oh my God. Why didn't you tell me so I could be quiet? I'm sorry. It's the quiet storm. <laughs> Sarah. It's late at night. Is she in here with us? It's, it's 2 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm childish. Yeah. It's 2 a.m. And you feeling smart? Mm -hmm. Listening to me talking shit in your room? Mm -hmm. At 2 a.m., girl. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. See, when I said my own assistant, hey, I meant the other two. Okay. No, good, you good. No, but that's what my girl was listening, girl. Girl, it is not cheap. And you gotta remember, all y'all know about a hair salon is what we what you see when we press record, my nigga. Like all you see is what I present to you. You don't unless you pop up. And that don't happen. Walk in the weeds. I don't know. Okay, you're going to blow my heart trying to read that. Hello, do you have any information for people who got lost? I'm, um, I'm, I have a video that I'm putting together specifically for that. No oil in the scalp means no rosemary, no, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> I love you. I love you and I love, I love the the transparency of your questions because what's funny as hell to me right now and don't do nothing until i answer your question what's funny as hell i know the whole time i've been on here you've been detangling your hair with oil that means that you done now and you're like okay before i watch this shit wait a minute so <laughs> when i'm talking about oil i'm talking about oil in a bottle when you look on the bottle of let's say like Paul Mitchell and it says with rosemary oil, they take the essence of that oil and put it in a bottle. It's not the same thing. So yes, that is safe. It's okay. <laughs> Great question. 
Most cosmetologists leave because they're tired of customers. Absolutely. I did years ago. I just came back and I have peace of mind because I'm not afraid not to book you. First of all, my soul, sister. Because listen, only, only you and me and women who have been in the industry understand the feeling. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't have to explain it to you. But me and my husband were talking about it last night. And my husband knows how much I love doing hair. When my husband met me, I was in cosmetology school. He knows how much I love it. And my husband always like brings up things like, oh, maybe we could try it like this to just try to figure out a different way on how to filter out people. Like me and my husband, yesterday we were talking about like possibly requiring, uh, um, what do you call it? Video consultations before I book anybody just so I can see you and feel your energy before I meet you in person. So I'm thinking about that. Um, I'm trying to work that out. I'm not making no promises. It probably won't be, I know it won't be until probably like 2025. Once I'm able to really get stuff situated, but like, I'm just not, you understand. Like, it's not like the money isn't worth the people that you deal with. It's just not worth it. That's why me and my husband was talking about it. And I was like, as much as I hate hearing black men say, oh, I'm done with black women and I'm done. I'm a hypocrite if I disagree. I'm a hypocrite. You know, so I just keep my comments to myself. I can tell you my aunt ain't okay with hair care. She has totally endured your channel if she was still living. Oh, oh my God. That's why I wish all of the women, I wish all, of, actually like one day, can you, can you email me? And one day I would love to like have you on the channel. You know, like, and not just her, like any cosmetologist who either left and came back, who already left, who's thinking about leaving or anything. Like, I would love, love, love to have y'all on. And I just don't say nothing. And y'all just talk. And I just ask questions. I don't want to say nothing because I talk a lot. We've been on here for three hours. I don't want to say nothing. I just want, I just want y'all to talk. So please email me. And you don't you don't even have to show your face, even though you fine girl, you could be like like I am right now. You could just be audio. I promise, I promise I got it. But this is the thing, the reason I could just oh excuse me. I could just throw a lock video up like tomorrow, but I just have so much freaking respect for people with locks that, and I have so much respect for locticians, and I'm one of those people that stays in my lane. And even though the human scalp is still the human scalp and all of that, like I'm, I didn't specialize in locks, so I'm just crossing all of my T's out of all of my eyes before, before I, I, I bring it to you because I just don't, I just don't want to push bullshit. But I promise it's coming. Like, I promise, I promise. Yes, please. No, don't do it, please. I love going to hairdressers and was never afraid to pay. I'm a caregiver now, so I'm thankful I learned how to do my hair. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I got you seeing on my other channel, follows you too. Hi, girl. I'm about to fuck. Girl, where my goddamn phone? Where's my, oh, it's over there. Hold on. I'm about to get my phone. I'm about to subscribe to your channel right now. I'm about to subscribe to your channel right now and I'm going to stalk you. So don't be, uh, don't be, <laughs> don't be acting like you forgot about me saying, uh, that I want you to be on the channel because I'm about to be on your channel when you post stuff like, uh, I thought you said you was coming through. Like, I thought you said, I thought you said you was coming through, sis. I thought that's what you said. Where you at, though? Where you at, Miss Gray? 
I'm feeling sad and gray. Big and blue, Miss Gray. Why you ain't why you ain't responding, girl? And you all, now you really don't got no excuse. You can't say no to me now because you got a YouTube. So you can't be like, oh, I'm a shy. No, you ain't. No, you no, you ain't. No, you ain't. You ain't shy. You is not a shy girl. I'm gonna have to find it later. Oh, it's because it doesn't say high level, it says higher. Oh, there you go, girl, with your fine ass, girl. Y'all subscribe, holler at your girl. Yep, so, yep, so anyway. <sighs> yep, so you, you got a stalker now, so I don't want to, I don't, you got a stalker now, so I don't want to hear it. Um, it's not gonna happen tonight because when I get done, I must go eat. But I'm gonna be commenting on all your videos. So yes, leave your brain and purse at the door. I totally feel your love for hair, but these black women just don't get. Right, listen, I, I just I can't. It's and it's and I think I think the part that's crazy is like I think the thing that's crazy about it is you women really expect you to take that shit. They be like, wait, so you really not gonna do my hair? Like my nigga, no. Like hair is a privilege, and seeing like the ooh, this is about to sound so cocky, but it is what it is. Seeing me is a privilege. Like I'm dope as hell. And I don't, I don't really know too many cosmetologists that A, have acquired the as much knowledge as I've acquired, and B, who can do what I can do with a round brush and a flat arm or just tools, period. I don't, I don't know too many. So like I'm I'm not, I can't, I can't go back into the industry and feel like, oh, I have to humble myself. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. If I come back into the industry, I'm going to come back into the industry exactly as, ex, the, exactly who I am. All straight, no chaser. Like, but the thing is, in the hair salon, like in the hair salon, my clients that I have for years, they never, most of them, like when they would see my YouTube videos, they would come back and they would be cracking up because they would be like, girl, you be letting them have it because they never had to take it. Do you know why? I didn't tolerate disrespect. If somebody was rude, they got kicked out or I would block them and never book them again. And that was me with patience. I'm not tolerating any disrespect from women. Like when I, y'all, we would be here all day. We can have another day talking about the main reasons that I quit. Give me a two if y'all want me to go into that. I already made a video about it, but it's a lot of new people here. So give me a two if y'all want me to go into it because I do it. I don't know how I ended on this live, but I'm a licensed stylist and I've been blessed. And I've been blessed with the best clients. But see, I'm not, I'm not being rude, right? But <clears throat> hmm, I don't know how to say this. When, when you are a local hairstylist, it's a lot easier. Like when I was a, when I was a local and nobody knew who I was, oh, it was great. Because I have my regulars that came all the time, but our experience is not going to be the same. So it's because, and I'm not, I'm not being rude, but people were not, you, you don't have a magnifying glass on you. Nobody's comparing you. Nobody is booking you just to see if you're as good as what they saw on social media. So it's not the same thing. But, but but before I blew up and went viral, all of my clients were amazing too. I never had any problems then too. You you would have the every blue moon, right? Every blue moon stuff would happen, but for the most part, like stuff was good. Plus, I work in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is a melting pot. Uh, Vegas is a place that's a transit town. Like nobody really lives here for a long period of time. So 
that's good for you that that was your experience. But I know that you are in the minority, though. <laughs> Comment on your old Scott video. Okay, perfect. I found her. Boo boo. Thanks for subbing to boo. Because she's about to be on here in a minute because I need her to share her experience. And if there are any other cosmetologists that are on here that want to come through, like I would love to have like a little live chat day. Maybe we could do that Friday because what we did today, we were supposed to do Friday. But I just kept getting the same questions. And I just wanted to do it tonight. So that's what happened. Why are we like that to each other? Who knows? But guess what? I am taking myself out of the equation. Because by the time I retire, I have so many damn policies and procedures that you literally have to read an essay and probably like like click I agree at least 15 times before you can even pay your deposit to book with me. Like women are that and they've they've gotten worse since I did here since I quit six years ago. Seeing only a sub clients that want to get with the program like me. But see that but that's what I'm saying though. Like remember I told y'all the last time I did the pop up, I thought she was I thought it was the same thing too until what happened happened. Oh, I don't want to go into it. My eyebrows start itching and my boobies start itching too. Just think about it. I have a girlfriend. She was a hairdresser years ago. She worked in New York. Oh yes. She did celebrity hair like salt and pepper. And no one can get her to come back full time. Listen to me. Like, it, and I, oh, I told my husband at one point that I would work at McDonald's first before I did here again. And part of me believes, I, part of me kind of means that. Like, if, if stuff got real hard, like, at one point, I felt like I, if everything else failed and nothing else that we did worked and, like, you didn't have, you couldn't do it and nothing else, like, I would work at McDonald's before I did here again. At one point, I really did feel like that. And I still kind of do feel like that. I really do still feel like that. I mean it from the pits of my soul. That's why when y'all be like, oh, see, come back for me. As much as I love y'all, there is nothing that anybody can say to me. To nothing. Can we address going gray? Find my transition. Look like storm. I'm getting compliments. Oh yes, I'll do a video on it though, cause I gotta dive deep into that. I'm back, damn airplane Wi-Fi. I love you. We about to end in a minute though. Does your seven day challenge work with relaxed hair? Listen, I don't. Everything that I do is for all textures. I don't. I don't subscribe to that. Oh, for natural hair, for natural. When y'all see my videos and I'm like, why I can't stand Team Natural Hacks is because Team Natural has infested the world, not just the city, the world, Craig. We got white girls putting rosemary oil on their scalp, getting seborrheic dermatitis because black girls telling them to do it. So I'm not, I'm, I'm not one of those people that's like, only relaxed hair, only, only natural hair. If the hair is growing out of your follicle, it works. Like, whether you have locks, not, um, hair that is not chemically treated. Let's say that. Let's stop saying natural hair. Hair that is not chemically treated or hair that is chemically treated. It works for everybody's hair. All right. So, I love y'all so much. We have been on here for almost three and a half hours so let's go ahead and end here i'm pretty sure food is here i don't even know what my husband ordered so i told him i'm gonna cook it tonight but i love you guys so much go ahead and shop the apothecary today and i don't know why i said i'm not gonna post a video today i mean tomorrow but i got issues and i probably will good issues though i probably will still upload a video tomorrow but i don't know i just feel content now and i feel like Y'all have enough to make it into whatever day I post this video, okay? I love you. Bye. Bye, bye, bye.